I wake up early in the morning, feeling refreshed from a good night's sleep. I stretch my arms and legs, ready to start my day. I walk over to the bathroom and brush my teeth, making sure to clean every tooth and have fresh breath. After that, I take a nice warm shower, feeling the water relax my body and wake me up even more. Once I'm done showering, I dry myself off and put on some comfy clothes. I make my way to the kitchen and prepare a healthy breakfast. I choose to have a bowl of oatmeal with some fresh fruits and a glass of orange juice. It provides me with the energy I need to tackle the day ahead. After finishing my breakfast, I clean up the dishes and get ready to head out for the day. In the morning, I wake up and get ready for the day. I put on my clothes and brush my teeth. Then, I grab my bag and leave the house. I walk to the bus stop, which is just a few minutes away from my home. I wait for the bus to arrive and check the time on my phone. Finally, the bus comes and I get on. I find a seat and sit down quietly. During the commute, I enjoy the view outside the window. I see the city buildings passing by and the people walking on the streets. The bus ride is peaceful and I feel relaxed. After a while, the bus arrives at my workplace and I get off. I am ready to start the day. I wake up early in the morning and start my daily routine. The first thing I do is check my emails. I have many messages from my colleagues and clients, so I need to read and reply to them. After that, I organize my files and make sure everything is in order. I have different folders for different projects, so it's important to keep everything organized. Then, I have a meeting with my team. We discuss our progress and plan our tasks for the day. We also go over any important updates or announcements. After the meeting, I start working on my assignments. I have a deadline to meet, so I need to focus and complete them on time. It's a busy day, but I enjoy being productive and getting things done. My daily routine at the office helps me stay organized and accomplish my tasks efficiently. During my lunch break, I went to the break room to relax and have my homemade sandwich. I sat at a table with my colleagues and we chatted about our weekend plans. We talked about what activities we wanted to do and places we wanted to visit. It was nice to unwind and socialize with my co-workers during this time. After finishing my lunch, I returned to work feeling refreshed and ready to continue the rest of the day. In the afternoon, I start my duties by making phone calls. I pick up my phone and dial the numbers, speaking to different people about important matters. After the phone calls, I then move on to brainstorming ideas. 
I sit down at my desk with a blank sheet of paper and start jotting down different thoughts and concepts. I try to come up with creative and innovative ideas to solve problems or improve our projects. Once I have a few ideas written down, I gather my team members for collaboration. We discuss and share our thoughts, bouncing ideas off each other and working together to find the best solutions. It's a productive and engaging process that helps us tackle our projects effectively. Every morning, I wake up and get ready for my gym session. I change into my workout clothes and make sure to wear comfortable sneakers. Before leaving the house, I grab my gym bag which has a towel, water bottle, and my headphones. I drive to the gym and when I arrive, I scan my membership card to enter. I find a spot in the locker room to put my belongings and then head to the workout area. I start by stretching my muscles to warm up and prevent any injuries. Then, I begin my workout routine which includes using different machines and weights. I can feel myself starting to sweat as I push myself to complete each exercise. Throughout my session, I take breaks to drink water and catch my breath. After an hour of exercising, I finish my workout and head back to the locker room to change. I feel tired but accomplished as I leave the gym. Regular gym sessions help me stay fit and healthy. On my typical day, I usually go grocery shopping. I start by making a shopping list. Noting down all the items I need to buy. Then, I drive to the nearby supermarket. Once inside, I grab a shopping cart and begin my search for the items on my list. I carefully select fresh produce, such as fruits and vegetables, making sure to choose ones that are ripe and in good condition. I also make sure to pick up essential items like bread, milk, and eggs. After filling my cart, I head to the checkout counter to pay for my items. Once I'm done, I load the groceries into my car and drive back home. Grocery shopping is an important part of my daily routine as it ensures that I have all the necessary food items to prepare meals throughout the week. After a long day at work, I arrived home and started preparing dinner. I gathered all the ingredients needed for the recipe. First, I washed and chopped the vegetables, onions, carrots, and bell peppers. Then, I marinated the chicken with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Next, I heated the pan and added some oil. Once the oil was hot, I added the onions and sautéed them until they turned golden brown. After that, I added the chicken and cooked it until it was no longer pink. In a separate pot, I boiled water and cooked the rice. Once the chicken was cooked, I added the marinated vegetables and let them cook for a few more minutes. Lastly, I plated the rice and topped it with the chicken and vegetables. The dinner was ready, and it looked delicious. 
Today, I woke up early and started my daily routine. I cleaned my living space by dusting the furniture and vacuuming the floors. I made sure to organize everything so that my home looks neat and tidy. I focused on each task and completed them one by one. After finishing cleaning, I felt a sense of accomplishment. I was happy to see my living space clean and organized. It made me feel relaxed and comfortable. I know that maintaining a clean environment is important for my overall well-being. I wake up early in the morning and start my day with a personal devotion routine. First, I find a quiet spot in my house where I can sit comfortably. I close my eyes and begin meditating. I focus on my breath, taking slow and deep breaths in and out. As I meditate, I try to clear my mind of any thoughts or worries. After about 15 minutes of meditation, I move on to practicing yoga. I follow a simple routine of stretching and holding different poses. This helps me to relax my body and increase my flexibility. Finally, I spend some time journaling. I write down my thoughts and reflections from the previous day. This helps me to gain clarity and focus on my personal growth and mindfulness. After completing my personal devotion routine, I feel calm, centered, and ready to start my day. Today, I met up with some friends for coffee. We all sat at a cozy cafe and ordered our drinks. I had a cappuccino while my friends had different types of tea. We started chatting about our week, sharing stories and catching up on each other's lives. It was nice to hear about their experiences and what they have been up to. We laughed a lot and had a great time together. The atmosphere in the cafe was warm and relaxed. We stayed for a while, talking and enjoying each other's company. After a couple of hours, we decided to grab a bite to eat. We found a nearby restaurant and sat down at a table. We ordered our meals and continued our conversations. The food was delicious and we couldn't stop talking and laughing. It was a wonderful afternoon spent with friends, and I can't wait to do it again soon. Every evening, I fill my bathtub with warm water. I make sure the water is just the right temperature, not too hot or too cold. Once the tub is filled, I add some bubble bath to create a fragrant and foamy bath. The scent of the bubbles fills the room and creates a relaxing atmosphere. I carefully lower myself into the tub, feeling the warm water surround my body. As I soak in the bath, I can feel the stress of the day melting away. The warm water soothes my muscles and helps me unwind. I close my eyes and take deep breaths, enjoying the tranquility of the moment. I stay in the bath for about 30 minutes, allowing myself to fully relax and let go of any tension. After the time is up, 
I slowly stand up and drain the water from the tub. I feel refreshed and rejuvenated, ready to get a good night's sleep. Taking a relaxing bath before bed has become an essential part of my daily routine. I enjoy incorporating outdoor activities into my daily routine for physical activity and fresh air. One of my favorite activities is riding a bike. Every morning, I wake up early and prepare my bicycle. I put on my helmet and comfortable clothes. Then, I ride to the nearby park. The park has a dedicated cycling path, where I can ride freely without any worries. I feel the wind in my hair as I pedal along the path. The park is usually quiet in the morning, and I can enjoy the peacefulness of nature. Sometimes, I bring a friend along, and we ride together chatting and laughing as we explore the park. Riding a bike not only keeps me fit, but it also allows me to appreciate the beauty of the outdoors. I love the feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction I get after a good cycling session. It energizes me for the rest of the day and makes me feel more connected to nature. Overall, incorporating bike riding into my daily routine has been a wonderful experience that I look forward to every day. On weekends, I have a set routine of doing household chores to keep my living space clean and organized. First, I gather all the dirty laundry and sort it into different piles based on colors and fabrics. I then load the washing machine and add laundry detergent before starting the cycle. While the laundry is being washed, I move on to cleaning the house. I dust the furniture, sweep the floors, and vacuum the carpets to remove any dirt and dust. Next, I tackle the kitchen by washing the dishes, wiping down the countertops, and mopping the floor. After the laundry is done, I hang the clothes to dry or put them in the dryer. While waiting for the laundry to finish, I organize my belongings. I declutter any unnecessary items, sort my books and files, and neatly arrange everything in its designated place. By the end of the day, my house looks clean, and I feel a sense of accomplishment knowing that I have completed my weekend chores. I wake up early in the morning and start my pet care routine. First, I prepare some fresh food for my furry companion. I make sure to give them a balanced and nutritious meal. After that, I take them for a walk outside. We enjoy the fresh air and stretch our legs together. When we come back home, I spend some quality time playing with my pet. We play fetch with a ball and my furry friend always gets excited. After a fun playtime, I make sure to give my pet a good brushing to keep their fur clean and shiny. Finally, it's time for their nap, so I set up a comfortable sleeping area for them. I give them a cozy blanket and they curl up and fall asleep. I feel happy knowing that I have taken care of my pet's needs and ensured their happiness throughout the day.
I woke up early on Saturday morning feeling excited for my weekend getaway. I quickly got dressed and packed a suitcase with my clothes, toiletries, and a few snacks for the road. I hopped into my car and started driving towards a nearby town that I had never been to before. The weather was perfect, with clear blue skies and a gentle breeze. As I drove, I admired the beautiful scenery along the way. After a couple of hours, I finally arrived at my destination. I parked my car and set off on foot to explore the town. I walked along the cobblestone streets, taking in the sights and sounds of this new place. I stumbled upon a charming cafe and decided to stop for a quick bite to eat. The food was delicious, and the atmosphere was cozy and inviting. I continued my exploration, visiting local shops and boutiques. I also took the time to relax in a nearby park, enjoying the sunshine and fresh air. As the day started to come to an end, I made my way back to my car and drove back home. Despite the short trip, it felt like a mini-vacation and I was grateful for the opportunity to explore new surroundings. On laundry day, I sort my clothes into different piles. I separate them into different colors and fabrics. Then, I put them in the washing machine and add detergent. After the washing cycle is finished, I take the clothes out and hang them on the line in my backyard. I let them dry in the sun for a few hours. If the weather is bad, I use the dryer instead. Once the clothes are dry, I take them off the line or out of the dryer and start folding them neatly. I fold each item one by one and stack them in piles according to their type. Finally, I put the folded clothes back into my wardrobe and admire my organized laundry. I have a daily routine of taking care of my plants. Every morning, I start by checking the soil moisture of my indoor and outdoor plants. I gently touch the soil with my fingers to feel if it's dry or damp. If the soil feels dry, I use a watering can to give them water. I make sure to water each plant thoroughly ensuring that the water reaches all parts of the soil. After watering, I spend some time nurturing my plants. I remove any dead leaves or flowers and gently wipe the leaves to remove any dust. I also make sure to position my indoor plants near a window where they can get enough sunlight. Taking care of my plants has become an enjoyable part of my daily routine. Yesterday, I planned to meet an old friend for a reunion. We decided to meet at a cafe that we used to frequent when we were younger. When I arrived at the cafe, I noticed that it had changed a lot since the last time I was there. The tables and chairs were arranged differently, and there were new decorations on the walls. Despite the changes, the atmosphere was still cozy and welcoming. As I waited for my friend, 
memories of our past adventures together flooded my mind. Finally, my friend arrived and we greeted each other with warm hugs and smiles. We ordered our favorite drinks and sat down at a table near the window. We spent the next few hours reminiscing about old times, laughing at funny anecdotes, and catching up on each other's lives. It was a nostalgic and heartwarming experience to reconnect with someone who had been such an important part of my past. As the afternoon came to a close, we exchanged contact information and promised to keep in touch. Saying our goodbyes, I left the cafe feeling grateful for the opportunity to reconnect with an old friend and excited for the possibility of future reunions. On weekends, I like to meet up with my friends at a nearby cafe for brunch. We usually gather around 11 a.m. and spend a few hours enjoying our meal and catching up on each other's lives. The cafe is cozy and has a relaxed atmosphere, which makes it a perfect place for a leisurely brunch. I usually order my favorite dish, Eggs Benedict, with a side of crispy bacon and a cup of freshly brewed coffee. My friends and I sit at a large table, chatting and laughing as we savor our delicious food. We share stories about work, our families, and any exciting events happening in our lives. The cafe is always bustling with people, but we find a cozy corner where we can have our conversation without interruptions. The staff at the cafe are friendly and attentive, making sure we have everything we need. After finishing our meal, we continue our conversation for a little while longer before saying our goodbyes and going our separate ways. It's always a wonderful time spent with friends, enjoying good food and creating precious memories. Yesterday, I found a cozy spot near the beach to watch the sunset. The sky was filled with vibrant colors as the sun started to go down. I sat there and admired the beauty of nature as the sky turned different shades of orange, pink, and purple. It was a peaceful and calming experience to witness the sun slowly disappearing behind the horizon. The sound of the waves crashing against the shore added to the serenity of the moment. As the sky darkened, the stars gradually appeared, making the scene even more magical. I stayed there until it was completely dark, taking in the breathtaking view before heading back home. Watching the sunset reminded me of how fortunate I am to be surrounded by such natural beauty. In the morning, I woke up and started my daily routine. I went to the kitchen to prepare breakfast. I followed a recipe and measured the ingredients carefully. I mixed the flour, sugar, eggs, and milk together to make pancake batter. I heated up the pan and poured the batter onto it. As the pancake cooked, I could smell the delicious aroma filling the house. Once the pancake was done, I flipped it over and cooked it on the other side. I placed it on a plate and drizzled maple syrup on top. The pancake looked delicious and I couldn't wait to eat it. 
After finishing my breakfast, I cleaned up the kitchen and started getting ready for the day. Every morning, I wake up feeling refreshed and ready to start my day. I begin by tying my shoelaces tightly, ensuring that my shoes stay securely on my feet during my morning jog. After that, I spend a few minutes stretching my muscles to warm them up and prevent any injuries. Once I feel limber and ready, I head outside for my run. The cool morning air invigorates me as I move through my neighborhood, passing by houses and trees. The rhythmic sound of my footsteps on the pavement keeps me focused and motivated. As I continue my jog, I can feel the adrenaline coursing through my veins, giving me a burst of energy. The familiar sights and sounds of my surroundings create a sense of familiarity and comfort. I enjoy seeing other people out and about, going about their own morning routines. Running has become a part of my daily routine and it brings me a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. After my jog, I return home feeling energized and ready to take on whatever the day may bring. On the weekends, I like to have a barbecue with my family and friends. First, I marinate the meat overnight to make it tasty and tender. Then, I start by firing up the grill. I check to make sure there's enough charcoal and light it up. Once the grill is hot, I put the marinated meat on and let it cook. While waiting, I set up the picnic area with tables, chairs, and a canopy for shade. I also prepare side dishes like salads, corn on the cob, and baked potatoes. When the meat is cooked, I take it off the grill and let it rest for a few minutes before serving. Everyone gathers around the picnic area and we have a lively and fun-filled outdoor cookout. We enjoy the delicious food, laughter, and good company. Every night before bed, I have a routine of reading. I crawl under the covers and choose a captivating book to read. I love the feeling of escaping into a world of imagination as I read. It helps me relax and unwind after a long day. I enjoy getting lost in the story and letting my mind wander. Reading before bed has become a habit for me, and it helps me sleep better knowing that I have a peaceful activity to do before closing my eyes. Yesterday, I packed my car with all the essential items for our road trip. I made sure to bring enough clothes, toiletries, and snacks for the journey. Once everything was ready, I mapped out the route to our new destination. I double-checked the directions to ensure that we wouldn't get lost along the way. Finally, we embarked on our exciting adventure, eagerly looking forward to reaching our destination. We were filled with anticipation and excitement as we drove away ready to explore new places and create unforgettable memories. I woke up early in the morning and checked the weather forecast for the day. It was going to be a sunny day, perfect for a beach trip. 
I went to my closet and picked out my swimsuit in a comfortable cover-up. Then, I grabbed a beach bag and started packing. I put in sunscreen to protect my skin from the sun's rays, towels to lay on, and some snacks to keep me energized throughout the day. After getting everything ready, I headed to the beach with my friends. When we arrived, we found a spot near the water and set up our things. I spread out the towels and laid down to soak up some sun. The warm sand felt great under my feet as I walked towards the ocean. I jumped in the water and swam around, enjoying the coolness and the feeling of weightlessness. We spent the whole day at the beach, taking breaks to enjoy our snacks and reapply sunscreen. As the sun started to set, we packed up our things and headed back home, feeling relaxed and refreshed from our fun-filled day at the beach. Yesterday, I decided to try out a new restaurant that I had heard about. Before going, I searched online for reviews and ratings to get an idea of what to expect. The reviews were mostly positive, so I was excited to try it out. When I arrived at the restaurant, I was greeted by a friendly host who showed me to my table. The menu had a variety of options and dishes from different cuisines. I decided to be adventurous and try a dish I had never had before. The waiter was knowledgeable and helpful in explaining the ingredients and flavors. The food arrived promptly and it looked delicious. As I took the first bite, I was pleasantly surprised by the burst of flavors in my mouth. The dish was flavorful and well seasoned. The portion size was also generous, ensuring that I left the restaurant feeling satisfied. Overall, it was a great experience trying out a new restaurant with different flavors and cuisines. I would definitely recommend it to others looking for a culinary adventure. I usually take a nap in the afternoon to recharge my energy. After I finish my lunch, I find a comfortable spot to lie down and close my eyes. I make sure the room is quiet and dark so that I can fall asleep easily. Once I am settled, I take several deep breaths to relax my body and mind. I try to clear my thoughts and focus on my breathing. Gradually, I start to feel sleepy and drift off into a light sleep. I usually set an alarm for around 20 minutes so that I don't oversleep and feel groggy afterwards. During my nap, I sometimes have dreams or just enjoy a peaceful rest. After the alarm goes off, I wake up feeling refreshed and ready to continue my day with extra energy. Yesterday, I went to a sports event. I bought tickets in advance and arrived at the stadium early. The atmosphere was electric, with fans cheering and chanting. I sat in my seat and waited for the game to start. As the home team stepped onto the field, the crowd erupted in cheers. Throughout the game, I cheered for my team and clapped whenever they scored a point. 
The energy in the stadium was contagious. The game was intense, with both teams giving their all. In the end, the home team won, and the crowd went wild with excitement. I left the stadium feeling satisfied and happy with my experience. Today, I woke up early in the morning and started my daily routine. After getting dressed, I went to the farmer's market. It was a vibrant place filled with colorful fruits, vegetables, and other locally sourced items. The aroma of fresh produce filled the air as I walked around the market. There were many different stalls offering a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. I decided to try some samples of the fresh produce and they tasted amazing. The vendors were friendly and knowledgeable, explaining where the items came from and how they were grown. I felt good knowing that by purchasing from the market, I was supporting local farmers. I ended up buying a basket of fresh strawberries and some vegetables for my meals throughout the week. It was a great experience and I left feeling satisfied with my purchases. Yesterday, I decided to paint my living room. I woke up early in the morning and had a quick breakfast. Then, I gathered all the necessary materials for the project. I had bought a paint roller, brushes, and a can of paint the day before. I cleared the furniture out of the room and covered the floor with a plastic sheet to protect it from paint spills. Next, I started by cleaning the walls to remove any dirt or dust. Once the walls were dry, I began priming them with a coat of white paint. After the primer dried, I started painting the walls with the color I had chosen. It took me a few hours to finish painting the entire room. Once I was done, I cleaned my brushes and put everything back in its place. Overall, it was a tiring but satisfying project and I was proud of the end result. I wake up early in the morning and start my daily routine by going to the garden. I grab my gardening tools and begin planting seeds in the soil. I carefully place the seeds in rows and cover them with a thin layer of soil. After planting the seeds, I water them gently to make sure they get enough moisture. I then move on to nurturing the plants that have already started to grow. I remove any weeds that may be competing for nutrients and carefully prune the plants to encourage healthy growth. I also make sure to provide them with enough sunlight and water regularly. As the days go by, I start to see the plants blossoming with vibrant colors. The flowers bring a sense of beauty and joy to the outdoor space. I feel a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction as I see the fruits of my labor. Gardening has become an enjoyable part of my daily routine and I look forward to seeing my plants thrive and flourish. Yesterday I woke up and started my day by checking my emails. I then went to the kitchen to make breakfast. 
After eating, I sat down at my computer and decided to do some online shopping. I browsed different websites, looking for items that I needed. I found a few things that caught my interest and added them to my cart. Once I finished browsing, I proceeded to the checkout and entered my shipping information. I eagerly awaited the arrival of my packages and wondered when they would arrive. I went about the rest of my day, running errands and completing household chores. In the evening, I received a notification that my packages were out for delivery. I couldn't contain my excitement as I waited for the doorbell to ring. Finally, the packages arrived and I eagerly opened them to see my new purchases. I was satisfied with what I had bought and felt a sense of accomplishment. I woke up early in the morning and followed my daily routine. After getting dressed and having breakfast, I decided to visit the library. When I arrived, I was amazed by the wide array of books on the shelves. I explored different sections, from fiction to non-fiction, and each one seemed to hold endless possibilities. As I perused the shelves, I found a novel that caught my eye. I couldn't resist borrowing it and delving into its captivating story. The library was a peaceful place, filled with others who were also lost in their own books. I spent hours engrossed in the pages, losing track of time. Before leaving, I returned the book and thanked the librarian for their assistance. It was a rewarding experience to immerse myself in the world of literature and escape from reality for a while. One sunny morning, I decided to go for a drive. I hopped into my car, turned on the engine, and rolled down the windows to feel the fresh air on my face. I plugged in my phone and played my favorite songs through the car's speakers. As I drove along the road, I admired the beautiful scenery around me. The tall trees swayed in the breeze, and colorful flowers dotted the roadside. I passed by small villages and saw people going about their daily activities. The clear blue sky above me made the drive even more pleasant. I took my time and enjoyed the peacefulness of the countryside. It was a relaxing and refreshing experience, just me and the open road. I woke up early in the morning and started my day by making my bed. Then, I gathered all the dirty clothes and put them in the laundry hamper. I went to the bathroom to brush my teeth and wash my face. After that, I headed to the kitchen to prepare breakfast. I cleaned the countertops, washed the dishes, and swept the floor. Once I finished eating, I started my spring cleaning. I first decluttered my bedroom by organizing my clothes and putting away any items that were out of place. Then, I moved on to the living room and dusted all the furniture. I also deep cleaned the carpets by vacuuming them thoroughly. In the afternoon, I tackled the kitchen and cleaned all the cabinets and appliances. 
I wiped down the windows and blinds to let in more sunlight. Lastly, I mopped the floors of every room, making sure they were spotless. After a long day of cleaning, I felt satisfied with my efforts and enjoyed the refreshing feeling of a clean and tidy home. I recently decided to learn a new recipe. I found one online that seemed interesting and decided to give it a try. The recipe required several ingredients, so I made a list and went to the grocery store to buy everything I needed. Once I had all the ingredients, I began following the step-by-step -step instructions. I started by chopping the vegetables and measuring the spices. Then, I melted butter in a pan and added the chopped vegetables. After they cooked for a few minutes, I added the spices and let everything simmer. In a separate pot, I cooked the pasta according to the package instructions. Finally, I combined the vegetables and pasta, gave it a taste, and it turned out delicious. I was so proud of myself for following the recipe correctly and creating a tasty dish. Learning a new recipe was a fun and rewarding experience for me. During the holiday season, I decorated my home to create a festive atmosphere. I hung colorful ornaments on the Christmas tree and placed them carefully to ensure they were evenly distributed. I also set up bright lights both inside and outside the house to illuminate the surroundings. The lights added a warm and cozy feel to the atmosphere. Additionally, I transformed the entire house into a festive wonderland by placing wreaths on the front door and hanging garlands along the staircase railings. The decorations brought a sense of joy and excitement as I admired the festive ambiance that I had created. I recently joined a book club where I get to discuss my favorite reads with fellow book enthusiasts. During our meetings, we exchange recommendations and discuss the books we've recently read. It's a great way to connect with others who share my love for literature and expand my literary knowledge. I find it exciting to hear different perspectives and insights on the books we discuss. It's also interesting to hear about books that I might not have considered reading before. Overall, joining the book club has been a rewarding experience that has enriched my reading life. Yesterday. I attended a networking event. It was held at a large conference center in the city. When I arrived, there were already many professionals there. I went to the registration desk and received my name tag. Then, I entered the main hall where the event was taking place. I saw people standing in small groups, talking and networking. I decided to approach a group and introduce myself. I exchanged business cards with a few professionals who seemed interested in my field of work. Throughout the event, I made sure to mingle with different people and strike up conversations. I also attended a few scheduled workshops where I learned valuable tips on networking and expanding professional connections. 
Overall, it was a successful event as I met several professionals who could potentially benefit my career. When I woke up this morning, I immediately reached for my camera. I loved taking photos and today was no exception. After getting dressed, I headed outside to capture some beautiful moments. I walked around my neighborhood, searching for the perfect shot. I found a colorful flower blooming in a garden and quickly snapped a picture of it. Then, I spotted a group of birds flying in the sky and managed to capture them mid-flight. I continued my walk and stumbled upon a stunning sunset. The vibrant colors amazed me, and I couldn't resist taking a photo. As the evening approached, I made my way back home, satisfied with the photos I had taken. It was a fulfilling day of capturing beautiful moments through my camera lens. Every morning, I wake up and start my day by checking the tire pressure of my car. I grab the tire pressure gauge and go to each tire, making sure they are properly inflated. After that, I head to the garage and change the oil in my vehicle. I carefully drain the old oil and replace it with fresh oil ensuring that the engine runs smoothly. Once the oil change is complete, I move on to inspecting the different parts of my car. I check the brake pads, the fluid levels, and the lights to ensure they are all in working order. This routine maintenance helps keep my vehicle in top condition and ensures that I have a safe and smooth journey every time I hit the road. I wake up early in the morning and start my day by brushing my teeth. After I brush my teeth, I take a shower to refresh myself. After getting dressed, I have breakfast which usually consists of toast and a cup of tea. Then, I grab my bag and leave for work. On my way to work, I take the bus. Once I arrive at the office, I start my work for the day. I work on my tasks and attend meetings throughout the day. At lunchtime, I take a break and have a sandwich and a fruit. After lunch, I continue working until it's time to go home. When I finish work, I take the bus back home. Once I arrive home, I prepare dinner for myself. After dinner, I relax by watching TV or reading a book. Before going to bed, I brush my teeth and get ready for bed. I like to have a good night's sleep to ensure I'm well rested for the next day. Last weekend, my friends and I decided to go on a camping trip. We arrived at the campsite and immediately started setting up our tent. It took us a while to figure out the instructions, but eventually, we managed to assemble it properly. Once the tent was ready, we gathered some firewood and built a campfire. It was challenging to get the fire started, but with some perseverance, we succeeded. As the flames flickered, we sat around the campfire enjoying the warmth and tranquility of nature.
The crackling sound of the fire and the soft rustling of the leaves created a peaceful atmosphere. We roasted marshmallows and made delicious s'mores. Sitting by the campfire, we shared stories, laughed, and bonded with each other. It was a wonderful experience to be surrounded by the beauty of the outdoors and to immerse ourselves in the simplicity of camping. I attend a language class every day to learn English. In the class, we learn new vocabulary and practice our pronunciation. Our teacher helps us understand grammar rules and how to use them correctly in sentences. We also do listening exercises to improve our comprehension skills. During the class, we have conversations with our classmates to practice speaking in English. The class is very helpful for immersing myself in the language and improving my English skills. After the class, I usually review the lessons and do some homework to reinforce what I've learned. I enjoy attending the language class and look forward to continuing my language learning journey. I woke up early in the morning and started my daily routine. First, I brushed my teeth and washed my face. Then, I had a quick breakfast consisting of toast and coffee. After that, I got dressed and headed to the salon to change my hairstyle. Once I arrived, I greeted the hairstylist and sat in the chair. I showed them a picture of the desired style and we discussed how it would look on me. The hairstylist began cutting my hair, and I could feel the scissors trimming away. Next, they washed my hair and applied a conditioning treatment. Then, they proceeded to blow dry my hair and styled it according to the picture. Finally, when I looked in the mirror, I was pleased with my fresh new look. I thanked the stylist and paid for the service before leaving the salon. Every week, I go grocery shopping to buy food and household items. I push a shopping cart around the store and follow a list of things I need to buy. I check off each item as I find it on the shelves. I make sure to get enough fruits, vegetables, meat, and dairy products for the week. I also buy cleaning supplies, toilet paper, and laundry detergent. Once I have everything on my list, I go to the checkout counter. The cashier scans each item and tells me the total amount I need to pay. I give him the money and he gives me a receipt. After grocery shopping, I go home and put everything away in the pantry, refrigerator, and cabinets. This way, I am stocked up on food and household necessities for the week. Yesterday, I woke up feeling very tired and unwell. I had been working long hours for the past week and my body was really exhausted. I decided to take a day off from work to get some rest and recover. I called my boss and told him that I was sick and wouldn't be able to come to work. He was understanding and told me to take care of myself. After hanging up, 
I went back to bed and slept for a few more hours. When I woke up, I made myself a cup of hot tea and took a warm shower. I spent the rest of the day relaxing on the couch, watching my favorite TV shows. I didn't do any housework or chores, I just focused on resting and recuperating. Throughout the day, I made sure to drink plenty of water and eat healthy foods to help my body recover. In the evening, I made a simple dinner for myself and enjoyed it while reading a book. Before going to bed, I took a warm bath and did some light stretching to help relax my body. It was a much needed day off and I felt grateful for the opportunity to rest and recharge. Every morning, I wake up early and start my day by taking a refreshing shower. I turn on the warm water and step into the shower. The water flows down my body, making me feel refreshed. I use a bar of soap to lather up and wash my body. The soap creates a foamy lather and leaves a clean and pleasant scent. I rinse off the soap and let the water wash away any dirt and sweat from my body. The warm water relaxes my muscles and makes me feel awake and rejuvenated. After spending a few minutes enjoying the water, I turn off the shower and step out onto the fluffy bath mat. I dry myself using a soft towel and put on fresh clothes. Taking a shower in the morning is an important part of my daily routine as it helps me feel clean, refreshed, and ready to start the day. After getting dressed, I make my bed every morning. It's important for me to start the day with a sense of accomplishment and orderliness. I smooth out the sheets and fluff up the pillows. I make sure everything is straight and neat. Making my bed gives me a feeling of productivity and helps me set a positive tone for the rest of the day. It only takes a few minutes. But it makes a big difference in how I feel when I come back to my bedroom later. Every morning, I start my day with a nutritious and satisfying breakfast. I like to have a balanced meal that provides me with the energy I need for the day. Typically, I have a bowl of cereal with milk and some sliced fruits. Sometimes, I also like to have a piece of toast with jam or butter. To go along with my meal, I usually have a cup of hot tea or a glass of orange juice. I find that having breakfast helps me feel refreshed and ready to take on the day. It gives me the fuel I need to focus and stay productive throughout the morning. Every morning and night, I make sure to brush my teeth to maintain good oral hygiene. I use a toothbrush and toothpaste to clean my teeth. In the morning, I wake up and go to the bathroom. I wet my toothbrush and put some toothpaste on it. Then, I start brushing my teeth using small circular motions. I make sure to brush all my teeth, including the front, back, and sides. I also brush my tongue to remove any bacteria. After brushing for about two minutes, 
I rinse my mouth with water and spit out the toothpaste. In the evening, before going to bed, I repeat the same process. Brushing my teeth is a daily routine that helps to keep my teeth clean and healthy. Every morning, I wake up early and get ready for work. I don't have a car, so I rely on public transportation to get to my workplace. I live in a busy city, so the buses and trains can get quite crowded during rush hour. Despite the crowds, commuting by public transportation is convenient for me because it saves me both time and money. I walk to the bus stop near my house and wait for the bus to arrive. Once I board the bus, I find a seat and settle in for the journey. The bus ride takes about 30 minutes, and during this time, I usually listen to my favorite podcast or read a book. When the bus reaches the nearest train station, I get off and head to the platform. I wait for the train to arrive and then board it. The train journey is much faster, taking only 15 minutes to reach my stop. Finally, I exit the train station and walk a few blocks to my office building. Overall, my daily commute to work using public transportation is a convenient and cost-effective choice for me. After I arrive at the office, I walk through the entrance and head towards my desk. I say good morning to my colleagues as I pass by them and they return the greeting with a smile. Once I reach my desk, I take off my coat and hang it on the back of my chair. I turn on my computer and wait for it to start up. While I'm waiting, I organize my desk by arranging my pens, notepads, and other office supplies neatly. When my computer is ready, I log into my email account and check my inbox for any urgent messages. After responding to a few emails, I start working on my first task for the day. I make a to-do list of all the things I need to accomplish and prioritize them based on their importance. I focus on each task one by one, taking short breaks in between to stretch and relax my mind. Throughout the day, I collaborate with my colleagues on various projects and attend several meetings. Before I leave the office, I make sure to clean up my desk and organize my papers for the next day. I wave goodbye to my co-workers and head towards the exit, ready to start a new day at the office tomorrow. Every morning, before I start my work, I make it a point to check my emails. This helps me stay updated and ensures effective communication. I go through each email carefully and respond to any urgent ones immediately. It is important for me to stay on top of my emails and address any important matters as soon as possible. This routine allows me to start my day with a clear mind and address any pressing issues right away. By checking my emails regularly, I am able to stay organized and efficiently manage my tasks throughout the day. Throughout the day, I attend various meetings to discuss projects, brainstorm ideas, and collaborate with my team. 
In the morning, we have a team meeting where we discuss the goals for the day and any updates on ongoing projects. After that, I attend a project meeting where we review the progress and make any necessary adjustments. Later in the day, I have a brainstorming session with my colleagues to come up with innovative ideas for a new project. Finally, I have a collaboration meeting with another team where we share insights and coordinate efforts on a joint project. These meetings are essential for keeping everyone on the same page and ensuring smooth progress in our work. I have a daily routine of taking short breaks throughout the day to stay focused and productive. Whenever I feel the need to refresh myself, I take a moment to stretch my body. I stand up from my desk and reach my hands towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch in my muscles. After that, I make sure to drink water to stay hydrated. I fill up my water bottle and take a few sips, which helps me feel more awake and alert. In addition to physical breaks, I also take breaks for my mind. I close my eyes for a few minutes and focus on my breathing, allowing my mind to relax and recharge. These breaks are essential for maintaining my productivity and avoiding burnout throughout the day. During my lunch break, I usually have a homemade or takeout meal. Today, I decided to go for takeout and ordered a sandwich and a salad from a nearby cafe. The sandwich was filled with fresh vegetables, cheese, and grilled chicken. It tasted delicious and was quite filling. The salad had a mix of greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, and a tangy dressing. I enjoyed the crunchy texture of the vegetables. I ate my lunch in the break room while chatting with my colleagues. The break room was cozy and had a small table where I could comfortably eat my meal. After finishing my lunch, I felt energized and ready to tackle the rest of the day's tasks. During my lunch break, I like to engage in small talk with my colleagues. We usually gather in the break room and chat about our daily routines, upcoming events, or anything that comes to mind. We talk about our families, hobbies, and interests. It's a great way to get to know each other better and build positive relationships. Sometimes, we even share funny anecdotes or jokes to lighten the mood. It helps to create a friendly and welcoming atmosphere in the workplace. I enjoy these small talk sessions as they provide a break from work and allow us to connect on a personal level. It's always nice to have a friendly conversation with my colleagues during the day. After finishing my tasks for the day, I say goodbye to my colleagues and leave the office. I feel a sense of achievement knowing that I have completed my work. It's a relief to know that I can now relax and enjoy the rest of my day. As I walk towards my car, I reflect on the tasks I accomplished and the progress I made. I feel a sense of pride knowing that I have contributed to the team's success.
The commute back home is peaceful and I enjoy the solitude. I look forward to spending quality time with my family and engaging in activities that I enjoy. In the evenings, I engage in physical exercise to stay fit and healthy. I have a few options for my workout routine. Sometimes, I go for a run around my neighborhood. It's a great way to get fresh air and enjoy the scenery. Other times, I prefer to practice yoga. I follow along with online videos and focus on stretching my body and finding inner peace. On days when I feel like challenging myself, I go to the gym. There, I use different exercise machines and lift weights to strengthen my muscles. It's a bit intense, but I always feel accomplished afterwards. Exercising in the evenings helps me relieve stress and have a good night's sleep. I enjoy cooking dinner every day. I like to try out new recipes and experiment with different ingredients. Today, I decided to make a stir-fry dish. I started by chopping up vegetables such as carrots, bell peppers, and mushrooms. I heated up some oil in a pan and added the vegetables. While they cooked, I prepared the sauce by mixing soy sauce, garlic, and ginger. Once the vegetables were tender, I poured the sauce over them and let it simmer for a few minutes. In the meantime, I cooked some rice to serve with the stir-fry. Finally, I plated the dish and sat down to enjoy my homemade dinner. The flavors were delicious and the meal was both satisfying and nutritious. Every night, before I go to bed, I have a habit of reading a book. It helps me to stimulate my mind and relax after a long day. I usually choose a book that interests me, whether it's a novel, a self-help book, or even a magazine. I find that reading before bed helps me to escape into a different world and forget about any stress or worries I may have. It's a peaceful and quiet time for me to unwind and focus on something enjoyable. I usually read for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how tired I am. Sometimes, I get so engrossed in the story that I lose track of time and end up reading for longer than I planned. After I finish reading, I turn off the lights and drift off to sleep, feeling satisfied and relaxed. I believe that reading before bed has become an essential part of my daily routine, and it brings me joy and a sense of tranquility. Every night before going to bed, I make sure to establish a consistent routine. First, I brush my teeth and wash my face to feel refreshed and clean. Then, I change into comfortable pajamas and tidy up my bedroom. I like to have a clean and organized space to help me relax and unwind. Next, I turn off all electronic devices and set my alarm clock for the next morning. I find that disconnecting from technology helps me to disconnect from the stresses of the day and prepare my mind for sleep. 
Finally, I climb into bed and read a book for a few minutes to help calm my mind. Reading helps me to escape into a different world and wind down from the day's activities. Once I start feeling sleepy, I turn off the lights and lay still, allowing myself to drift off into a deep and restful sleep. By following this bedtime routine, I ensure that I am able to get a good night's sleep and wake up feeling refreshed and ready for the day ahead. On Mondays, I wake up early and start my day by reviewing my goals for the week. I make a to-do list with all the tasks I need to complete. Then, I have a healthy breakfast and drink a cup of coffee to give me energy. After that, I start working on the most important tasks first. I focus on completing them efficiently and effectively. I take short breaks in between tasks to rest and clear my mind. Throughout the day, I stay organized by using a planner and checking off completed tasks. By the end of the day, I feel satisfied with my productivity and I am ready to tackle the rest of the week with the same determination. In my daily routine, I often attend team meetings with my colleagues. During these meetings, I make sure to actively participate and contribute ideas. I believe that collaboration is key in order to have effective discussions and make progress on our projects. I listen attentively to what my colleagues have to say and provide my input when necessary. By actively participating in these meetings, I am able to contribute to the overall success of our team and ensure that our goals are achieved. Today, I spent some time updating and organizing my files and documents. It is important for me to keep everything in order so that I can find information quickly and easily. I started by going through my computer and deleting any unnecessary files that I no longer needed. Then, I created folders for different categories such as work, personal, and finances. Within each folder, I sorted the files by date or importance. I also made sure to rename each file with a clear and descriptive name. This way, I can easily locate the file I need without having to open multiple folders. After organizing my computer files, I moved on to my physical documents. I gathered all the loose papers and put them in a filing cabinet. I labeled each folder based on the type of documents inside, such as bills, receipts, and important documents. Finally, I made a note to myself to regularly review and update my files to maintain efficiency and keep things organized. Today was a special day at work because we were celebrating a colleague's birthday. To make it a memorable day, we all decided to decorate the office. We hung colorful balloons and put up streamers all around the room. It looked so festive and cheerful. We also brought in delicious treats to share with everyone. There were cupcakes, cookies, and even a big chocolate cake. It all smelled so good. Throughout the day, 
We took turns coming over to wish our colleague a happy birthday. We all gathered around their desk, clapped our hands, and sang the birthday song. They had a big smile on their face and seemed really happy with all the attention. During lunchtime, we all gathered in the break room and had a small celebration. We brought out the cake and everyone enjoyed a slice while chatting and laughing. It was a lovely way to break up the workday and show our colleague how much we appreciate them. Overall, it was a wonderful day filled with joy and celebration. During my workday, I receive feedback from my supervisors to help improve my work processes. They provide constructive feedback on my performance and offer suggestions for improvement. I appreciate their feedback because it helps me become more efficient and effective in my job. In return, I also offer feedback to my colleagues when necessary. This helps create a positive work environment where we can all grow and develop professionally. Overall, Receiving and giving feedback is an important part of my daily routine at work. I have a daily routine where I dedicate time each week to learning new skills. I do this by taking online courses or attending workshops that are relevant to my profession. I believe that staying updated and continuously learning is crucial in today's fast-paced world. These courses and workshops provide me with the opportunity to acquire new knowledge and improve my existing skills. I find it very beneficial as it allows me to stay competitive in my field and expand my professional network. I make sure to set aside specific time in my schedule for these learning activities, and I am committed to making the most out of them. Overall, incorporating learning new skills into my daily routine has been a productive and rewarding experience for me. In my daily routine at work, I often collaborate with colleagues from different departments. This collaboration is important in order to achieve our common goals and foster teamwork and synergy. One specific situation where I collaborated with another department was when we were working on a project together. We had regular meetings where we discussed the progress of the project and shared our ideas and suggestions. Each department contributed their expertise and knowledge to ensure the success of the project. We communicated effectively and listened to each other's perspectives, which helped us come up with innovative solutions and strategies. Through this collaboration, we were able to complete the project on time and meet our objectives. It was a great experience working with colleagues from different departments and seeing how our combined efforts led to a successful outcome. I attended a training session last week to enhance my knowledge and stay updated in my field. The session started at 9 a.m. and lasted for four hours. The trainer was knowledgeable and experienced. He introduced useful techniques and strategies that can be applied in our daily work. The session was interactive, 
with opportunities for us to ask questions and participate in group discussions. We were provided with handouts and resources to refer to later. The trainer also shared real-life examples and case studies to help us understand the concepts better. Overall, it was a productive and informative training session that will definitely benefit me in my professional journey. In my daily routine, I always embrace changes in my workplace. Recently, there have been new processes, technologies, and ways of working that were introduced. Instead of resisting these changes, I quickly adapted to them. First, there was a new software system that we had to learn and use for our daily tasks. I took the initiative to attend the training sessions and familiarize myself with the features and functions of the software. This allowed me to efficiently navigate through the system and complete my work without any issues. Additionally, there was a change in the way we collaborated with our team members. We started using a project management tool where we could assign tasks, track progress, and communicate effectively. I quickly got the hang of it and started using it to organize my tasks and stay updated with my team's progress. Overall, embracing these changes in the workplace has allowed me to adapt quickly and maintain productivity in my daily routine. I attend professional events and conferences regularly to network with others in my industry. I find it important to meet new people, exchange ideas, and build connections that can benefit my career. Recently, I went to a conference where professionals from different companies and organizations gathered to discuss the latest trends and innovations in our field. Throughout the day, there were various sessions and panel discussions that I attended, where industry leaders shared their expertise and insights. During the breaks, I made an effort to introduce myself to other attendees and engage in conversations about our shared interests. I exchanged business cards with several individuals and even connected with them on professional networking platforms. By the end of the event, I had made valuable connections and gained new perspectives that will help me in my career. Attending these events has become an integral part of my daily routine as I continue to expand my professional network and stay updated with industry trends. Recently, I noticed that a colleague of mine was struggling with their workload. They seemed overwhelmed and stressed out. I decided to offer my support and assistance to them. I approached them and asked if they needed any help or if there was anything I could do to make their workload more manageable. They appreciated my gesture and accepted my offer. I then asked them which specific tasks they needed help with and together we came up with a plan. I took on some of their responsibilities and helped them complete their tasks. Throughout the day, we communicated and collaborated to ensure everything was getting done smoothly. By the end of the day, we were able to finish all of the tasks and my colleagues seemed relieved and grateful for the help. It felt good knowing that I was able to support someone in need and alleviate some of their stress.
In my daily routine, I encountered a conflict at work. My co-worker and I had different opinions on how to approach a project. Instead of ignoring the problem, I decided to handle it professionally. I started by listening to my co-workers' perspective and understanding their point of view. Then, I calmly expressed my own thoughts and explained why I believed my approach was beneficial. We engaged in a constructive conversation, focusing on finding a solution that would benefit both of us. Eventually, we were able to reach a compromise that incorporated both of our ideas. By resolving the conflict in a respectful and collaborative manner, we were able to continue working together effectively. When I have urgent tasks or important deadlines to meet at work, I sometimes have to work overtime. This means that I stay at work for longer hours than usual. During these times, I demonstrate my dedication to my work by putting in extra effort and time. Working overtime allows me to complete the tasks that need to be done and meet the deadlines set by my superiors. It can be challenging to work for extended hours, but I understand the importance of finishing my work on time. Working overtime helps me to ensure that everything is completed efficiently and effectively. It shows my commitment and responsibility towards my job. Although it can be tiring, I know that the hard work and extra hours I put in will pay off in the long run. Working overtime is a necessary part of my job when there are pressing tasks or deadlines that need to be met. I enjoy taking advantage of my allocated vacation days to unwind, recharge, and enjoy meaningful moments with my loved ones. I take time off from work to relieve stress and rejuvenate myself. During these precious days, I engage in activities that bring me joy and help me relax. Sometimes, I plan a small family trip where we can explore new places and create lasting memories together. On other occasions, I simply stay at home and indulge in my hobbies, such as reading books or gardening. These vacation days allow me to step away from my daily routine and focus on self-care, ensuring that I return to work refreshed and motivated. In my daily routine, I always make sure to plan for the future. This involves setting goals and creating a roadmap for my professional development. I believe that continuous growth and advancement are essential, so I take the time to outline my aspirations and the steps needed to achieve them. This helps me stay focused and motivated as I work towards building a successful career. I am aware that planning for the future requires dedication and effort but I am confident that my proactive approach will lead to positive outcomes. By setting clear objectives and creating a plan, I am taking steps towards realizing my professional aspirations. I enjoy participating in webinars because they provide me with valuable insights and help me stay informed about current trends. Recently, I attended a webinar organized by an industry expert. 
The webinar had a specific topic related to my field of interest. I logged into the webinar platform at the designated time and joined the virtual session. The speaker started the webinar by introducing themselves and giving a brief overview of the topic. They then proceeded to deliver a detailed presentation, sharing important information and tips. Throughout the webinar, there was also a chat box where participants could ask questions or share their thoughts. I found this feature helpful as it allowed me to interact with other attendees and gain more knowledge. The webinar lasted for about an hour, and I took notes on the key points discussed. At the end of the session, the speaker opened the floor for a Q&A session, where participants had the opportunity to ask questions directly. This was a great chance for me to clarify any doubts or seek further clarification. Overall, attending the webinar was a beneficial experience as I gained insights, learned from industry experts, and expanded my knowledge in my field of interest. In my daily routine, I often receive feedback from my colleagues and supervisors to help me improve my work performance. One day, my supervisor called me into their office to discuss my recent project. They pointed out areas where I could have been more thorough and suggested alternative approaches to certain tasks. I listened carefully and took notes on their feedback. After the meeting, I reviewed my project and made the necessary revisions based on the feedback received. I made sure to double-check my work to ensure I addressed all the points mentioned by my supervisor. By actively implementing their feedback, I was able to enhance the quality of my work and improve my overall performance. During my daily routine at work, I had the opportunity to celebrate a colleague's achievement. They had reached a significant milestone and I felt it was important to recognize their hard work. We organized a small gathering in the office where everyone congratulated them on their success. The atmosphere was filled with positivity and joy as we shared stories and anecdotes about their journey. We presented them with a small token of appreciation to show our admiration for their dedication and commitment. It was a special moment for everyone, and it reminded us of the importance of celebrating achievements in our workplace. I often participate in workshops and training programs to improve my skills and expand my knowledge. Recently, I attended a workshop on communication skills. The workshop lasted for two days and was held at a local conference center. On the first day, we focused on effective verbal communication. The facilitator gave us tips on how to speak clearly and confidently. We also practiced different communication scenarios through role plays. It was a great opportunity to practice my speaking skills and receive feedback from others. On the second day, the workshop covered non-verbal communication. We learned about body language, facial expressions, and gestures that can enhance or hinder communication. 
We did various exercises to understand the impact of non-verbal cues in different contexts. Overall, the workshop was informative and interactive, and I left with a better understanding of how to communicate effectively. I look forward to attending more workshops in the future to continue my personal and professional development. Every day, I make sure to dedicate some time to conducting research. This is an important part of my routine because it allows me to stay up to date with industry trends and gain knowledge about new methodologies. By staying informed, I am able to stay ahead in my field and be at the forefront of my industry. To conduct my research, I use various resources such as online articles, journals, and industry reports. I also make sure to analyze my competitors to understand their strategies and learn from their successes and failures. Researching helps me make informed decisions and ensures that I am constantly growing and evolving in my professional life. Attending trade shows is a regular part of my routine. I go to these events to discover new products and services that could benefit my business. The trade shows provide me with an opportunity to meet potential vendors and discuss potential collaborations. Additionally, I use these events to gather market intelligence such as trends and insights within my industry. It is through attending trade shows that I am able to stay informed and make informed decisions for my business. I wake up early in the morning and start my day by brushing my teeth and washing my face. After that, I go to the kitchen and make myself a cup of coffee to wake myself up. Then, I put on my workout clothes and head to the gym for a morning workout session. Once I finish my workout, I come back home and take a refreshing shower. After getting dressed, I sit down at my desk to plan out my day and make a to-do list. I prioritize my tasks and start working on the most important ones first. Throughout the day, I proactively look for ways to improve my work and implement innovative ideas. I take the initiative to suggest changes and offer solutions to my colleagues and superiors. I make sure to stay focused and motivated as I complete my tasks. In the evening, I wind down by going for a walk in the park and enjoying some fresh air. Finally, before going to bed, I review my day and reflect on the progress I made. I feel accomplished and ready to take on the next day. In my daily routine at work, I frequently encounter customer issues that need to be resolved. Recently, a customer called to complain about a product they had purchased. They explained that the item was damaged upon arrival and wanted a replacement. I listened carefully to their concerns and apologized for the inconvenience. I asked for their order number and quickly looked up their account to gather more information. After confirming their purchase, I assured them that we would send a replacement as soon as possible. I provided them with a timeline for the delivery and thanked them for bringing the issue to our attention. 
Throughout the conversation, I remained calm and professional, focusing on finding a solution to their problem. By addressing their concerns efficiently and effectively, I aimed to provide excellent customer service and exceed their expectations. I regularly update my resume to showcase my professional growth. Recently, I added new skills and accomplishments. I included my completion of a project management course and my certification in data analysis. I also included my work achievements such as successfully completing a major project ahead of schedule and receiving positive feedback from my supervisor. Additionally, I updated my contact information and made sure that my resume is well organized and easy to read. This way, potential employers can easily see my qualifications and accomplishments. I am confident that my updated resume will help me stand out in the job market and increase my chances of landing my dream job. Every night before going to bed, I take a few moments to reflect on my achievements for the day. I think about all the tasks and goals I accomplished throughout the day, no matter how big or small they may be. It feels good to recognize my hard work and effort. I also think about the areas where I have excelled whether it's completing a difficult project at work or making progress in a hobby I enjoy. Reflecting on my achievements helps me stay motivated and encourages me to continue working towards my goals. It's a positive way to end the day and reminds me of my capabilities and potential. Every morning, I wake up at 6 a.m. I brush my teeth and wash my face. Then, I go to the kitchen and make myself a cup of coffee. After that, I go to my bedroom and get dressed for the day. Once I'm ready, I head to the living room and do some stretching exercises to wake up my body. Next, I sit down at my desk and write down my goals for the day. I set both professional and personal goals to keep myself motivated. After setting my goals, I start working on my tasks for the day. Throughout the day, I make sure to take short breaks and drink water to stay hydrated. In the evening, I prepare a healthy dinner and enjoy it while watching my favorite TV show. After dinner, I spend some time reading a book or practicing a hobby that I enjoy. Finally, before going to bed, I reflect on my day and think about what I accomplished and what I can improve on tomorrow. Overall, setting personal goals helps me maintain a balanced life and stay focused on my aspirations. I recently had the opportunity to attend a team-building retreat with my colleagues. The purpose of this retreat was to improve our team dynamics, build trust, and encourage collaboration. The retreat took place in a beautiful countryside location, surrounded by lush greenery and peaceful surroundings. We arrived early in the morning and were greeted by our facilitators who explained the agenda for the day. We started with icebreaker activities to get to know each other better. 
Then, we engaged in various team-building exercises and games designed to enhance communication and problem-solving skills. Throughout the day, we worked together on different challenges and tasks, learning to rely on one another's strengths and support each other's weaknesses. It was an immersive and interactive experience that allowed us to bond as a team and understand each other's working styles. The retreat also included reflection sessions where we discussed our learnings and shared our thoughts and ideas. We concluded the day feeling more connected and motivated to work collaboratively towards our goals. Participating in this team-building retreat was a valuable experience that brought our team closer together and improved our overall dynamics. I have recently decided to dedicate my time and effort to developing a new skill that will contribute to my professional growth and versatility. Every day, I set aside a specific amount of time to focus on learning and practicing this skill. I start my day by reviewing the materials I have gathered and outlining the specific tasks and goals I want to accomplish. Then, I dive into the learning process. I follow online tutorials, read books, and watch instructional videos to gain a better understanding of the skill. I take detailed notes and make sure to highlight important concepts and techniques. After the theoretical learning, I move on to the practical aspect of the skill. This involves actually applying what I've learned and practicing the techniques involved. I find exercises and projects that allow me to practice and refine my skills. Additionally, I seek feedback from others who are experienced in this skill to help me improve further. Throughout the day, I remain focused and motivated, pushing myself to learn and grow. I understand that developing a new skill takes time and effort, but I am committed to this process because I know it will benefit me in my professional life. Each day, I make incremental progress, building a solid foundation of knowledge and skills that will enhance my abilities and open up new opportunities for me in the future. Every morning, I wake up at 7 o'clock and start my day by meditating for 10 minutes. I find that it helps me clear my mind and prepare myself for the day ahead. After meditating, I do some light stretching exercises to loosen up my muscles. Then, I take a quick shower and get dressed. Next, I sit down and have a healthy breakfast consisting of oatmeal and fruits. It gives me the energy I need to start my day. After breakfast, I make a to-do list for the day to prioritize my tasks. Throughout the day, whenever I feel stressed or overwhelmed, I take a few moments to practice deep breathing. It helps me relax and refocus. In the evening, I like to go for a walk or do some exercise to relieve any remaining stress. Before going to bed, I make sure to turn off all electronic devices and spend some time reading a book to wind down. Finally, I set my alarm for the next day and go to sleep. This daily routine has been instrumental in helping me manage stress and stay calm and focused.
In my daily routine at work, I focus on streamlining work processes. To ensure consistency, I have adopted the practice of documenting and sharing best practices with my team. This enables us to work more efficiently and effectively. By documenting our work processes, we have created a clear step-by-step -step guide that everyone can follow. This not only helps us avoid mistakes, but it also saves us time and effort. Additionally, by sharing these documents with the team, we are able to provide everyone with a comprehensive understanding of our work processes. This promotes better collaboration and teamwork within the team. Overall, documenting work processes has proven to be extremely beneficial in enhancing productivity and ensuring consistency among team members. Yesterday, my team and I celebrated the completion of a successful project. We had all worked hard and accomplished our goals. We gathered in the office conference room to celebrate together. We had balloons and decorations to make it festive. Our manager gave a short speech acknowledging our hard work and expressing gratitude for our efforts. After the speech, we all enjoyed a delicious catered lunch. There was a variety of food options, including sandwiches, salads, and desserts. We chatted and laughed while enjoying our meal. It was great to relax and enjoy each other's company after all the hard work we had put in. After lunch, we played some team building games to further strengthen our bond. The games were fun and helped us work together even better as a team. Overall, it was a fantastic celebration to acknowledge our success and appreciate each other's contributions to the project. During periods of remote work, I adapt to virtual communication tools, ensuring productivity and effective collaboration. I start my day by checking my emails and responding to any urgent messages. Then, I join a video conference call with my team to discuss our tasks for the day. We use an online project management tool to assign and track our tasks. Throughout the day, I communicate with my colleagues through instant messaging and video calls to discuss any updates or issues related to our projects. We also utilize file sharing platforms to share and review documents together. At lunchtime, I take a break and have my meal at home. In the afternoon, I attend another online meeting with different teams to align our efforts and ensure smooth coordination. To stay focused and motivated, I have set up a designated workspace in my home where I can concentrate without distractions. As the day comes to an end, I complete my remaining tasks and report my progress to my supervisor. I make sure to log off my virtual communication tools and disconnect from work to maintain a healthy work-life balance. In my daily routine, I participate in brainstorming sessions where I actively contribute ideas and suggestions. These sessions are designed to foster creativity and innovation.
I enjoy the opportunity to share my thoughts and opinions with others, and I find it exciting to see how our ideas come together to form innovative solutions. During these sessions, I make sure to listen to others' ideas attentively and respect their opinions, creating a positive and collaborative environment. By actively participating in brainstorming sessions, I am able to contribute to the team's success and help generate new and creative ideas. In my daily routine, I focus on strengthening professional relationships. I believe it is important to connect with professionals in my field, so I make an effort to attend networking events. Recently, I went to a networking event where I met many people who work in the same industry as me. I introduced myself and had conversations with different professionals, discussing our work experiences and sharing advice. I exchanged business cards with some of them and made plans to meet for coffee or lunch in the future. It was a great opportunity to expand my network and build meaningful relationships with other professionals. I feel that by attending such events regularly, I am able to stay connected with the latest trends in the industry and learn from the experiences of others. Building these professional relationships will ultimately help me in my career development. I organize my day by creating a daily schedule. I start by making a list of all the tasks that need to be done. Then, I prioritize the tasks based on their importance. Next, I allocate time for each activity. For example, in the morning, I set aside time for exercising and getting ready. In the afternoon, I allocate time for work or studying. In the evening, I make sure to have time for relaxation and personal activities. By creating a daily schedule, I am able to manage my time effectively and accomplish all the necessary tasks. I recently attended a career fair to explore job opportunities, network with industry professionals, and distribute my resume. The event was held at a large convention center and there were many different companies and organizations represented. When I arrived, there was a long line of people waiting to get in, so I joined the line and patiently waited my turn. Once inside, I went from booth to booth, talking to recruiters and learning about different job opportunities. I asked questions about the company's work culture, job requirements, and career advancement opportunities. I also made sure to leave a positive impression by showing my enthusiasm and professionalism. At each booth, I handed out my resume and collected business cards from the recruiters. I also took notes about the companies that I was interested in so that I could follow up later. Overall, attending the career fair was a great experience and gave me a chance to make valuable connections in my desired field. I participate in workshops or practice regularly to enhance my presentation skills. During these sessions, I learn various techniques to effectively convey my ideas to an audience. 
The workshops usually start with introductions and icebreaker activities to make everyone feel comfortable. Then, we learn about structuring our presentations, including creating an attention-grabbing introduction and a clear conclusion. We also practice using visual aids such as PowerPoint slides to enhance our presentations. The instructors provide feedback and tips on improving our body language, tone of voice, and eye contact. We also learn how to handle questions and engage with the audience. Through these workshops and regular practice, I am gradually becoming more confident and skilled in delivering presentations. In my daily routine, I value and embrace the diversity of my colleagues. I make it a point to create an inclusive and respectful environment at work. I appreciate the different backgrounds and perspectives my colleagues bring to the table. It allows us to have a richer and more well-rounded perspective on things. We have regular team meetings where everyone has the opportunity to contribute their ideas and share their thoughts. We encourage open and honest communication, ensuring that everyone's voice is heard and valued. I believe that by celebrating diversity, we are able to learn from one another and create a stronger and more united team. It's a wonderful feeling to work in such a diverse and inclusive environment where everyone's uniqueness is embraced and respected. In my daily routine, I often find myself in a fast-paced work environment where I need to multitask. There are multiple tasks and deadlines that I need to manage efficiently. To do this, I prioritize and organize my workflow. I start by making a to-do list of all the tasks that need to be completed for the day. Then, I assess the importance and urgency of each task and determine the order in which I should work on them. I focus on one task at a time giving it my full attention and completing it to the best of my ability before moving on to the next one. Throughout the day, I constantly review my to-do list, checking off completed tasks and adding new ones as needed. This allows me to stay organized and ensure that I meet all the deadlines. I also make use of tools such as calendars and reminders to help me stay on track. By effectively multitasking and managing my workflow, I am able to handle the demands of my work environment and successfully complete all my tasks. In my daily routine, I always strive to manage my time effectively. To do this, I utilize various time management techniques that help me stay focused and productive throughout the day. One technique I use is setting deadlines for myself. By giving myself specific time limits to complete tasks, I am able to prioritize and stay on track. Additionally, I break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This allows me to tackle them one at a time and prevents me from feeling overwhelmed. Finally, I minimize distractions as much as possible. I turn off my phone notifications and find a quiet, distraction-free workspace. 
This helps me stay focused on the task at hand and complete it in a timely manner. Overall, by implementing these time management techniques, I am able to make the most of my day and accomplish my daily goals efficiently. In my daily routine, there are often times when I have to balance multiple priorities. Today was one of those days. I had several tasks that needed to be completed, but I knew I couldn't do them all at once. First, I made a list of all the tasks and assessed their importance. I had to finish a report for work, pay my bills, and go to the grocery store. I decided that finishing the report was the most important task, so I allocated a few hours in the morning to work on it. After I finished the report, I moved on to paying my bills. I set aside some time in the afternoon to gather all the necessary documents and make the payments online. Lastly, I went to the grocery store in the evening to buy the groceries I needed for the week. By prioritizing my tasks and allocating time and resources accordingly, I was able to balance my priorities and complete everything that needed to be done. In my job, I always look for ways to make our work processes more efficient. Recently, I noticed that we were spending a lot of time manually entering data into our system. This seemed like a waste of time and energy. So, I came up with a solution. I suggested implementing automation software that would automatically transfer the data into our system. My suggestion was approved, and we started using the software. Now, the whole process takes a fraction of the time it used to and we can focus on other important tasks. I'm really glad I was able to identify this opportunity for improvement and suggest an innovative solution. During my daily routine, I always make sure to practice active listening. This means that I listen carefully during meetings and conversations, making sure that I understand everything that is being said. This helps me to communicate effectively and avoid any misunderstandings. Whether it's a meeting with my colleagues or a conversation with a friend, I always give my full attention and focus on what the other person is saying. I don't interrupt or try to finish their sentences, instead, I patiently wait for them to finish before responding. I also make sure to maintain eye contact and use non-verbal cues such as nodding my head to show that I am actively listening. By practicing active listening, I am able to fully understand and engage in meaningful conversations improving my communication skills in the process. I wake up early in the morning and decide to go for a walk in my neighborhood. As I step outside, I feel the crisp morning air on my face, which instantly wakes me up. I start walking along the quiet streets, enjoying the peacefulness of the early morning. The birds are chirping, and I can hear the sound of leaves rustling in the gentle breeze. The houses around me are still, as most people are still asleep. I take in the sights and sounds around me, 
feeling grateful to be surrounded by nature. As I continue my walk, I can feel my muscles warming up and my heart rate increasing. It feels good to be getting some exercise in the fresh air. As I walk, I notice the beautiful flowers blooming in the gardens and the different colors of houses in my neighborhood. The sun starts to rise higher in the sky, casting a warm glow over everything. I can feel the energy building up inside me, making me feel ready to tackle the day ahead. After a while, I make my way back home feeling refreshed and invigorated. Taking a morning walk has become an important part of my daily routine, as it helps me start the day on a positive note and prepares me for whatever lies ahead. After finishing my morning walk, I make my way to the kitchen to prepare breakfast. I always make sure to select the freshest ingredients for my meal. Today, I decided to cook a tasty omelette with vegetables. I chop up some onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes, and then whisk two eggs in a bowl. I heat up a non-stick pan and add a little bit of oil before pouring in the egg mixture. As the omelet cooks, I sprinkle the chopped vegetables on top. Once the edges start to set, I carefully flip the omelet over. After a couple more minutes, it's ready to be plated. I take a slice of whole wheat toast and spread a little bit of butter on it. I place the omelette on the plate next to the toast, and voila! A delicious and nutritious breakfast is ready to be enjoyed. With this healthy start to my day, I feel energized and ready to take on whatever challenges come my way. Today, I attend an online meeting with my colleagues. We gather at the designated time and connect through a video conferencing platform. The purpose of the meeting is to discuss important updates regarding our ongoing project. As the meeting begins, each person takes turns sharing their progress and any challenges they have encountered. We exchange ideas and offer suggestions to overcome obstacles. The meeting is productive, and we all contribute to finding solutions. Our goal is to ensure that the project stays on track and meets the desired outcomes. After a thorough discussion, we divide tasks and assign responsibilities to each team member. We aim to collaborate effectively and work towards achieving our shared objectives. The meeting concludes with a plan for our next steps and a set date for our next online gathering. On laundry day, I start by gathering all the dirty clothes from around the house. I separate them into different piles based on colors and fabrics. After that, I load the first pile into the washing machine and add detergent. I set the machine to the appropriate cycle and wait for it to finish. Once the clothes are washed, I transfer them to the dryer and select the desired drying setting. After the clothes are dry, I take them out and fold each item neatly. I put them away in their designated places, 
ensuring that my clothes are clean and organized. In the evening, I sit down with my journal and reflect on my day. I write about my experiences, thoughts, and feelings, allowing me to unwind and gain clarity. I start by writing about what I did during the day, the activities I engaged in, the places I visited, and the people I interacted with. I describe my thoughts and emotions throughout the day, whether it was excitement, happiness, or frustration. Writing in my journal helps me remember the details of my day and understand how I reacted to different situations. It gives me a sense of closure and helps me relax before going to bed. I find that putting my thoughts on paper is a therapeutic process, and it allows me to release any stress or tension that may have built up during the day. Overall, journaling has become an important part of my daily routine as it helps me reflect, unwind, and gain a better understanding of myself. I start my daily routine by making a list of essential items that I need from the grocery store. I grab a pen and paper and jot down everything I need including fresh produce, pantry staples, and other necessities for my kitchen. Once I have my list ready, I head to the nearest grocery store. I carefully navigate through the aisles, searching for the items on my list. I take my time to choose fresh fruits and vegetables, making sure they are of good quality. I also pick up various pantry staples like pasta, rice, and canned goods. As I make my way through the store, I grab other necessary items such as toiletries and cleaning supplies. After carefully selecting each item, I head to the checkout counter and pay for my groceries. I pack my purchases into reusable bags and make my way back home, satisfied with completing my grocery shopping for the day. I sit at my desk and gather all the bills. I open my laptop and log into my online banking account. I carefully enter the necessary payment information for each bill. One by one, I complete the transactions and submit the payments. I double-check to ensure that the payment amounts are correct and that I have entered the correct account details. Once I have paid all the bills, I feel a sense of relief knowing that my financial obligations are taken care of. I close my laptop and tidy up my desk, feeling satisfied with my accomplishment. On a sunny day, I decided to go for a bike ride. I grabbed my bicycle from the garage and made sure it was in good condition. I adjusted the seat height and checked the brakes to make sure everything was working properly. Once I was ready, I hopped on my bike and started pedaling. The neighborhood was quiet and peaceful as I rode along the streets. I enjoyed feeling the warm sun on my face and the cool breeze in my hair. I passed by colorful houses and beautiful gardens, admiring the scenery as I went. It felt great to be outside, away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. I pedaled at a leisurely pace 
taking my time to fully enjoy the ride. It was a wonderful way to stay active and appreciate the beauty of nature. After a while, I made my way back home, feeling refreshed and invigorated. Going for a bike ride was a simple yet fulfilling activity that brought me joy and helped me stay healthy. Feeling adventurous, I decided to try a new recipe. I spent some time browsing through recipe websites and came across something that looked intriguing. I took note of all the ingredients needed and made a trip to the grocery store to gather them. Once I had everything, I carefully followed the steps provided in the recipe to create the dish. It took some time and effort, but in the end, I was able to make a delicious new dish that I had never tried before. I grab my gardening tools from the shed and start working in my backyard. The sun is shining brightly, and I feel excited to plant some colorful flowers. I dig small holes in the soil and carefully place the flower seeds inside. I cover the holes with soil and pat it gently to ensure the seeds are secure. I water the soil with a watering can, making sure it is moist but not too wet. As I work, I can't help but feel a sense of joy and satisfaction. I love how the vibrant colors of the flowers bring beauty to my surroundings. I continue planting flowers until all the seeds are sown. Finally, I clean up my tools and take a step back to admire my work. I feel proud of what I have accomplished and look forward to seeing the flowers bloom in the coming weeks. I wake up in the morning and put on my cleaning gear. I start by dusting the furniture in the living room. I use a soft cloth to wipe away the dust from the coffee table, shelves, and TV stand. Next, I grab the vacuum cleaner and start vacuuming the carpets in each room. I make sure to move the furniture to reach all the corners and get rid of any dirt or crumbs. After vacuuming, I switch to mopping the floors. I fill a bucket with water and floor cleaner, then use a mop to clean the kitchen and bathroom floors. I scrub away any stains or spills to make the floors look clean and shiny. Once I finish mopping, I take out the trash and empty all the garbage bins in the house. Finally, I organize any clutter such as putting away shoes and straightening up the books on the shelves. I feel satisfied knowing that my living space is now neat and organized. I wake up early in the morning and decide to go on a hike. I quickly pack my backpack with some water, snacks, and sunscreen. I put on my comfortable shoes and head out to the nearby hiking trail. As I start walking, I can feel the fresh air on my face and it instantly makes me feel refreshed. The trail is surrounded by tall trees and colorful flowers, making the scenery beautiful. I see some birds flying overhead and occasionally hear their chirping. The hike is a little challenging, but I enjoy the physical activity.
Along the way, I take short breaks to rest and drink some water. The views from the top of the hill are breathtaking. I can see the city in the distance and the green fields below. It's a perfect escape from the busy city life. After spending a few hours hiking, I make my way back down the trail. I feel tired but satisfied with my adventure. Overall, going on a hike is a wonderful way to spend the day in nature and get some exercise. I woke up early in the morning and decided to visit a farmer's market. I walked around the market and saw many stalls selling different types of fruits and vegetables. The colors of the produce were so vibrant and appealing. I saw some farmers proudly displaying their freshly picked tomatoes, cucumbers, and carrots. The smell of the ripe fruits filled the air, making my mouth water. I also saw people selling homemade goods like jams, jellies, and honey. The jars were neatly arranged on the table, and the labels showed that they were made with love. There were also stalls selling artisanal products like handmade soaps and candles. The intricate designs and beautiful packaging caught my attention. I bought some fresh strawberries and a jar of homemade strawberry jam. The vendor was friendly and asked me if I wanted to taste a sample. The strawberries were sweet and juicy, and the jam had the perfect balance of sweetness and tartness. I enjoyed my time at the farmer's market, supporting local businesses and finding unique items that I couldn't find at the supermarket. I have been spending a lot of time lately exploring different hobbies and activities. I have been looking for something new to try and I think it's a great way to discover more about myself and grow as a person. I started by researching different hobbies online and reading about them. After that, I made a list of the ones that seemed interesting to me. I then tried a few of them out to see if I enjoyed them. Some of the hobbies I tried included painting, cooking, and hiking. I spent a few weeks trying each hobby and seeing how I felt about it. I found that I really enjoyed painting and it has become a new hobby for me. I bought some paints and canvases and started painting in my free time. It has been a great way for me to relax and express myself creatively. I am really happy that I took the time to explore different hobbies and I am excited to continue my journey of self-discovery and personal growth. I start by gathering all the ingredients needed to make homemade pizza. I measure the flour, yeast, salt, and sugar, and mix them together in a large bowl. Then, I add warm water and olive oil to the mixture and stir until a dough forms. Next, I knead the dough on a floured surface for about 5 minutes, until it becomes smooth and elastic. Once the dough is ready, I let it rest for about an hour, until it has doubled in size. In the meantime, I prepare the toppings for the pizza. I chop fresh vegetables like bell peppers, 
onions, and mushrooms, and grate some cheese. I also open a can of tomato sauce and season it with herbs and spices. After the dough has risen, I punch it down to release the air and shape it into a round pizza crust. I transfer the crust onto a baking sheet and spread the tomato sauce evenly over it, leaving a border around the edges. Then, I sprinkle the chopped vegetables and grated cheese on top, making sure to cover the entire surface of the pizza. Finally, I preheat the oven to a high temperature and bake the pizza for about 15 to 20 minutes, until the crust is golden and the cheese has melted and bubbled. The smell of the freshly baked pizza fills the kitchen, and I can't wait to enjoy a slice of my delicious homemade creation. I enjoy painting as a creative outlet. Setting up my easel and paintbrushes, I begin to let my imagination guide me as I paint on the canvas. It's a peaceful process that allows me to express myself artistically. As I mix colors and choose different brush strokes, I create something unique and beautiful. The colors blend together, creating depth and texture. It's fascinating to see how each brush stroke adds to the overall picture. Time flies by as I immerse myself in the world of painting. Finally, after some time, I step back and admire my finished artwork. It's satisfying to see a tangible result of my efforts and the expression of my emotions on the canvas. Painting is truly a wonderful way to unleash my creativity and create something beautiful. Every day, I spend time taking care of my garden. I start by gathering all the necessary tools, such as a watering can and a small shovel. I then head outside and begin by watering all the plants. I make sure each plant receives enough water to keep them hydrated and healthy. After that, I start removing any weeds that I find. I carefully pull them out from the root, ensuring that they don't grow back. Once the garden is free from weeds, I inspect each plant to check for any signs of damage or disease. If I find any issues, I take the necessary steps to treat them and ensure the plants remain in good health. Throughout this process, I feel a sense of calm and enjoyment as I connect with nature. It's a therapeutic activity that brings me joy and allows me to appreciate the beauty of the natural world. I decided to explore a neighboring town today. I walked around the streets and noticed the different architecture and buildings. The shops were unique, with colorful displays and various goods for sale. I entered a few stores and found interesting items to buy. As I kept walking, I stumbled upon a local attraction, a beautiful park with a fountain in the center. I sat on a bench and enjoyed the peaceful atmosphere. Further down the road, I found a small cafe and decided to have a cup of coffee. The aroma filled the air as I sipped on the warm beverage. Overall, 
It was a wonderful experience exploring this new neighborhood and expanding my horizons. Feeling like a change, I decide to rearrange the furniture in my living room. I start by moving the couch to the opposite wall, creating a new focal point in the room. Next, I rearrange the coffee table and side tables to better accommodate the new layout. I also decide to move the bookshelf to a different corner of the room, creating more space for other items. As I rearrange the furniture, I notice how it freshens up the atmosphere and gives a new perspective to my surroundings. The room feels more open and inviting, and I can't help but feel a sense of accomplishment as I step back and admire my newly arranged living space. I enjoy trying out new activities, and recently I decided to give origami a try. I found some colorful pieces of paper and followed step-by-step -step instructions on how to fold them into different shapes. It was a bit challenging at first, but I persevered and eventually got the hang of it. Folding the paper in precise ways required me to focus and be patient. As I continued, I noticed that the process of creating origami was actually quite calming and therapeutic. Each time I completed a fold, it was exciting to see the paper transform into a beautiful shape. I made various origami creations like a crane, a flower, and even a small boat. It was amazing to see how a simple piece of paper could turn into something so intricate and lovely. This new hobby quickly became a part of my daily routine, and I looked forward to spending some time each day practicing and creating more origami. It was a rewarding experience to see the progress I made and the beautiful results that came from my efforts. In the morning, I gather all the ingredients I need to make cookies. I get flour, sugar, butter, eggs, and chocolate chips. I measure out the right amounts and put them in separate bowls. Then, I mix the flour, sugar, and butter together until it turns into a smooth dough. I crack the eggs into a separate bowl and whisk them before adding them to the dough. Next, I pour in the chocolate chips and mix everything together. Once the dough is ready, I shape it into small balls and place them on a baking tray. I preheat the oven to the right temperature and then put the tray inside. After a while, the sweet aroma of the cookies fills my home. Finally, I take the tray out of the oven and let the cookies cool down before enjoying them. It's a delicious and satisfying treat that I can enjoy by myself or share with others. I put on my swimsuit and head to the local pool or beach. I enjoy going for a swim because it is a refreshing and therapeutic activity. On hot days, it helps me to cool off. Swimming also allows me to stay active and provides exercise for my body. Whether I go to the pool or the beach, I always have a great time swimming and enjoying the water. One day, 
I noticed a leaky faucet in my bathroom. It was constantly dripping, and it was starting to annoy me. I decided to take matters into my own hands and fix it myself. I gathered some tools that I thought I might need, including a wrench, pliers, and a replacement washer. I turned off the water supply and removed the handle of the faucet. Then, I carefully unscrewed the nut holding the cartridge in place. I noticed that the washer had worn out and was causing the leak. I replaced it with the new washer and tightened everything back up. Once everything was back in place, I turned on the water supply again and tested the faucet. To my delight, the leak was gone. I felt accomplished that I was able to fix the faucet without having to call a plumber. Plus, I saved some money in the process. I love trying out new recipes from different cuisines. So I often spend time browsing through cookbooks or websites to find inspiration. One day, I came across a recipe for a traditional Indian dish that caught my attention. I gathered all the necessary ingredients, which included spices like cumin, coriander, and turmeric, as well as vegetables like onions and tomatoes. Following the instructions step by step, I started chopping and preparing the ingredients. The aroma of the spices filled my kitchen as I sautéed the onions and tomatoes. I added the spices and let the mixture simmer for a while. Finally, I added the vegetables and let them cook until they were tender. The final dish turned out to be flavorful and delicious, with a perfect balance of spices. Trying out new recipes allows me to expand my culinary skills and experience different flavors from around the world. Last weekend, I decided to go on a day trip to a nearby town. I woke up early in the morning, packed my bag with essentials, and set off on my adventure. The weather was perfect with clear blue skies and a gentle breeze. As I reached the town, I was amazed by its charm and beauty. The streets were lined with colorful buildings and there were quaint little shops selling handmade crafts and souvenirs. I spent the day strolling around, taking in the sights and sounds of the town. I couldn't resist trying the local cuisine, so I stopped at a small cafe and ordered a traditional dish. The flavors were incredible and I couldn't help but savor every bite. After lunch, I continued exploring, finding hidden gems tucked away in narrow alleyways. I also took the opportunity to capture some beautiful photos to remember this day. The whole experience was exciting and refreshing. As evening approached, I made my way back home, feeling content and grateful for the memories I had made. Going on a day trip was indeed a wonderful adventure and something I would love to do again. I enjoy building puzzles as part of my daily routine. Today, I decided to work on a new puzzle. I laid out all the puzzle pieces on the table and started assembling them. 
The puzzle had a beautiful picture on the box, so I was excited to see how it would come together. As I began connecting the pieces, I realized it was more challenging than I expected. Some pieces fit perfectly, while others didn't seem to belong anywhere. I had to use my problem-solving skills to figure out where each piece should go. It required careful observation and patience, but I was determined to complete the puzzle. After some time, I started to see the picture taking shape. It was a rewarding feeling to see my progress and witness the puzzle coming together. Finally, after a lot of effort, I placed the last piece in its correct position. I stepped back and admired the completed puzzle. Building puzzles is not only a fun activity but also a great way to exercise my problem-solving abilities. I usually like to take a break from my daily routine by going for a nature walk. I find a nice local park or nature trail where I can walk peacefully. As I start my walk, I am immediately surrounded by beautiful greenery. The sight of the trees and plants instantly calm me down. I also enjoy observing the different kinds of birds that I come across. Their chirping adds a soothing touch to the whole experience. Sometimes, I even spot other wildlife like squirrels or rabbits, which is always exciting. Walking in nature allows me to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of daily life and simply enjoy the serenity around me. Today, I felt adventurous and decided to try a new hairdo. I wanted to express myself in a different way and change up my look. I experimented with different hairstyles, such as braids, updos, and even considered getting a new haircut. It was a fun experience as I tried different techniques and looked at tutorials online to learn new styles. I enjoyed the process of styling my hair and seeing the transformation. It was exciting to see myself in a different way and I felt more confident and unique with my new hairdo. Trying a new hairstyle was a great way to express my personality and have fun with my daily routine. In my daily routine, I set aside time to practice meditation. I create a calm and quiet space in my room where I won't be disturbed. I find a comfortable position to sit in, usually cross-legged on a cushion. I close my eyes and take a deep breath, trying to let go of any tension or stress I might be feeling. I focus on my breath, feeling the air come in and out of my nostrils. As I continue to breathe, my mind starts to calm down and I feel more present in the moment. Thoughts may come and go, but I gently let them pass without getting caught up in them. I try to keep my mind clear and focused on my breath. This practice helps me find inner peace and reduces my stress levels. After about 10 to 15 minutes, I slowly open my eyes and take a moment to appreciate the stillness and serenity I experienced during meditation. It leaves me feeling refreshed and ready to start my day.
I decide to try something new and sign up for a fitness class that I've never experienced before. I'm excited to challenge myself physically and explore different ways to stay in shape. I choose kickboxing, as it seems like an intense and fun workout. The class takes place in a spacious studio with mirrors lining the walls. The instructor starts by leading us through a warm-up consisting of stretches and light cardio exercises. Then, we move on to the main part of the class, where we learn various kickboxing techniques and combinations. The instructor demonstrates each move, and we practice them individually before combining them into sequences. I find it challenging to coordinate my punches and kicks initially, but with each repetition, I improve my form and technique. The class is fast-paced and energizing, and I feel my muscles working and my heart rate increasing. Towards the end of the class, we do some core exercises and cool down with stretches. I leave the class feeling accomplished and satisfied with my decision to try something new. Overall, the experience of trying a new fitness class like kickboxing was a great way to challenge myself physically and discover new ways to stay fit. I wake up early in the morning, feeling excited about the road trip I have been planning. I quickly pack my bags with all the essentials, clothes, toiletries, and snacks for the journey. As I step outside, I see my car parked in the driveway, ready to take me on this adventure. I hop in and start the engine the sound filling the air. The road stretches out ahead of me, promising new experiences and discoveries. With the GPS guiding me, I make my way through different towns and cities, marveling at the diverse landscapes outside my window. I can see rolling hills, vast fields, and towering mountains in the distance. Along the way, I make spontaneous stops at interesting places that catch my eye. I explore local markets, try delicious food at roadside stalls, and take short walks in picturesque parks. Each stop adds a unique flavor to my road trip, creating memories that I will cherish forever. As the day passes, the sun begins to set, casting a warm glow over the sky. I find a cozy motel to spend the night, resting and rejuvenating for the next day's adventure. Despite feeling tired, I am filled with a sense of excitement and anticipation. I can't wait to see what the next day has in store for me as I continue my road trip, exploring new destinations and creating unforgettable experiences along the way. I recently visited a local fair or carnival and had a great time. There were so many fun things to do. I went on different rides like the Ferris wheel, roller coaster, and bumper cars. The excitement and adrenaline rush were amazing. I also played games and tried to win prizes. I threw rings on bottles, played dart games, and even tried my luck at a shooting game. It was challenging but a lot of fun. In between, 
I took breaks and enjoyed some delicious fair food. I had cotton candy, popcorn, and a big slice of pizza. The food was so tasty and it added to the festive atmosphere of the fair. Overall, it was a fun-filled day and a great way to spend some quality time with friends and family. Yesterday, I decided to try a new painting technique that I had recently learned. I was feeling inspired and eager to explore different ways to express myself artistically. With my paintbrush in hand, I began experimenting with pouring and splattering techniques. I carefully mixed my paints and started by pouring them onto the canvas, creating a beautiful blend of colors. As the paints dripped and mixed together, I was amazed at the unique patterns and textures that formed. Encouraged by the initial results, I moved on to the splattering technique. I dipped my brush into the paint and flicked it onto the canvas, creating a burst of small, colorful droplets. It was an exhilarating experience to see the vibrant colors come to life on the canvas. Lastly, I decided to try using different brush strokes to add more depth and texture to my painting. I experimented with bold strokes, delicate strokes, and even cross-hatching. Each stroke added a new dimension to the artwork, making it more dynamic and visually interesting. As I continued to paint, I felt a sense of freedom and liberation in exploring this new technique. It was truly a rewarding experience to step out of my comfort zone and try something different. In the end, I was thrilled with the final result of my painting and couldn't wait to continue experimenting with new techniques in the future. I recently decided to enroll in a cooking class to broaden my culinary horizons. The class is taught by a professional chef who will teach us new recipes and techniques. I'm excited to gain hands-on experience and learn from someone with so much expertise. I know that this class will not only expand my knowledge, but also enhance my cooking skills. I can't wait to see what delicious dishes I'll be able to create after completing this course. I enjoy collecting seashells during my walks on the beach. It's a calming and pleasurable activity that allows me to bring a piece of the ocean's beauty back home with me. As I stroll along the sandy shore, I keep my eyes focused on the ground, looking for the perfect shells. I notice shells of all shapes, sizes, and colors scattered across the sand. Some are smooth and polished, while others have intricate patterns and textures. Whenever I come across a seashell that catches my eye, I stoop down to pick it up gently, careful not to damage it. I feel a sense of excitement and anticipation as I add each new discovery to my growing collection. Sometimes, I even find rare or unusual shells that make my collection even more special. Once I finish my beach walk, I carefully place the seashells in a small bag or bucket to protect them during the journey back home. Collecting seashells has become a cherished hobby of mine, 
allowing me to appreciate the beauty of nature and enjoy a peaceful moment by the sea. I love hosting barbecue parties in my backyard. Yesterday, I invited friends and family over for a fun-filled gathering. I started by preparing the grill and getting it ready for cooking. I marinated the meat and vegetables while the grill heated up. Once it was hot, I placed the food on the grill and watched as it sizzled and cooked to perfection. The smell of the barbecue filled the air, making everyone excited for the delicious meal ahead. While the food was cooking, we all gathered around chatting and laughing, creating a warm and friendly atmosphere. After a while, the food was ready, and we enjoyed a mouth-watering feast together. The combination of juicy burgers, tender chicken, and flavorful grilled vegetables was simply divine. As we ate, we shared stories and jokes, creating joyful memories that will last a lifetime. The barbecue party was a great success, and everyone had a fantastic time. I am already looking forward to hosting my next one. I decided to try out a new coffee shop that I hadn't been to before. I was curious to taste their specialty brew and see what kind of atmosphere they had. When I arrived, I noticed that the shop had a cozy and welcoming vibe. I ordered their specialty coffee and took a seat. As I sipped on my drink, I could immediately taste the unique flavors that the shop was famous for. It was a pleasant surprise and added a hint of excitement to my day. The cozy atmosphere and delicious coffee made my visit to the new coffee shop enjoyable. Today, I went to a pottery studio to paint ceramic pieces. There were different types of items to choose from, such as mugs and plates. I picked a plain white mug and started thinking about how I wanted to paint it. I decided to create a unique and personalized design, so I started by sketching some ideas on a piece of paper. Once I had a design in mind, I carefully applied different colors of paint using a small brush. It took some patience and concentration, but I enjoyed the process. After painting the mug, I left it to dry before adding any additional details. I also painted a plate with a similar design. Overall, it was a fun and creative experience, and I look forward to seeing the finished products once they are fired in the kiln. I have recently started learning calligraphy as a way to enhance my artistic skills. It has become a part of my daily routine, and I find it to be a calming and creative activity. Each morning, I set aside some time to practice the art of calligraphy. I gather my calligraphy tools, including various pens and ink, and sit at my desk. I start by warming up my hand and wrist with simple strokes and shapes. Then, I move on to practicing the different letter forms and styles. I carefully observe the strokes and angles required to create each letter, ensuring precision and elegance. 
As I progress, I experiment with different fonts and designs, allowing myself to get creative and express my own unique style. The more I practice, the more I appreciate the beauty of calligraphy and the joy it brings me. It's a fulfilling experience to see my skills improve over time and witness the transformation of my handwriting into a work of art. Learning calligraphy has become an integral part of my daily routine, and I look forward to the sense of calm and accomplishment it brings me each day. Yesterday, I went to an art exhibition to appreciate the works of talented artists. As I entered the gallery, I was greeted by a wide array of paintings, sculptures, and installations. The space was filled with vibrant colors, intricate details, and thought-provoking concepts. I took my time to carefully observe each artwork, allowing myself to be immersed in the creativity and beauty. The paintings ranged from abstract to realistic, showcasing different styles and techniques. Some of the sculptures were made from metal, while others were carved from wood. The installations were interactive encouraging the viewers to engage with the artwork in unique ways. It was fascinating to see how each artist expressed their ideas and emotions through their craft. The exhibition inspired me and expanded my artistic perspective, igniting my own creativity. I left the gallery feeling grateful for the opportunity to witness such talent and craftsmanship. I decide to build a birdhouse for my garden, so I gather all the materials I need. I collect different pieces of wood, nails, and paint. I start by measuring and cutting the wood into the proper sizes for the birdhouse. Then, I use the nails to connect the pieces together. Once the structure is complete, I paint the birdhouse in bright colors to make it more attractive for the birds. I place the birdhouse in a suitable spot in my garden where it is easily visible and accessible for the birds. Over time, I observe different types of birds visiting and using the birdhouse as their shelter. Seeing the birds enjoy the birdhouse fills me with a sense of accomplishment and happiness. It makes me feel like I have created a safe and welcoming space for them in my garden. Armed with my camera, I set out on a photography walk. I choose picturesque locations where I can capture beautiful moments and stunning scenes. I enjoy looking at the world through the lens of my camera. I take my time exploring different angles and perspectives to get the perfect shot. As I walk, I come across a colorful flower in a garden and snap a close-up shot of its delicate petals. I then spot a charming old building with intricate architecture and capture its grandeur. The sunlight casts a warm glow on a tree, creating a magical atmosphere, which I capture in a photo. I enjoy the peacefulness and serenity of the nature around me. I continue to walk, finding inspiration in every corner. The sound of birds chirping and the gentle breeze add to the overall experience. 
Each click of the camera brings me joy as I know I am capturing a moment that will never be repeated. The photography walk allows me to appreciate the beauty of the world in a unique way. One night, I felt very sleepy, so I decided to go to bed early. First, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth. I made sure to clean them well, using a toothbrush and toothpaste. After that, I changed into my comfortable pajamas. They were soft and warm. Then, I walked to my bedroom and turned off the lights. It became dark and quiet in the room. I laid down on my cozy bed and closed my eyes. Soon, I fell asleep and had a restful night's sleep. Every morning, I wake up and do some simple stretching exercises. I start by reaching my arms up towards the ceiling and taking a big breath in. Then, I slowly bend forward and try to touch my toes. After that, I stand up and stretch my legs by doing lunges and squats. I also stretch my neck by gently tilting my head from side to side. These stretches help wake up my body and get me ready for the day ahead. In the morning, I prepare my breakfast. I choose to have a healthy meal to start my day. I pour some cereal into a bowl and then pour milk on top. I also slice some fresh fruit, such as bananas and strawberries, and add them to the bowl as well. The combination of the cereal, milk, and fruit provides me with a balanced and nutritious breakfast. I enjoy the taste of the sweet fruit mixed with the crunchy cereal. It gives me energy and makes me feel ready to start my day. This breakfast has become a part of my daily routine, and I find it to be the perfect way to kickstart my morning. During my lunch break, I prepared a delicious sandwich with fresh vegetables. After making my meal, I decided to go outside to take a short walk and clear my mind. The weather was nice and the sun was shining, which made the walk even more pleasant. I enjoyed the peacefulness of the surroundings and took deep breaths of fresh air. As I walked, I noticed the beautiful flowers blooming and the birds singing in the trees. It felt refreshing to be away from my desk and to have some time to myself. After my walk, I returned to my lunch spot and enjoyed my meal. The sandwich was tasty and the vegetables were crunchy and flavorful. Overall, my lunch break was a much-needed break from work and it left me feeling rejuvenated for the rest of the day. In the afternoon, I attended a meeting with my colleagues. The purpose of the meeting was to discuss upcoming projects and share updates on our current tasks. During the meeting, I actively participated by contributing my ideas and opinions. I also listened attentively to what my colleagues had to say. We had a productive and collaborative discussion, exchanging thoughts and suggestions. 
It was a valuable opportunity to learn from each other and align our efforts towards the common goals of the team. By the end of the meeting, we had made progress in our project planning and had a clearer understanding of our individual responsibilities. Overall, the meeting was constructive and helped us move forward as a team. Every day at work, I take a short break in the morning to grab a cup of coffee. I usually go to the office kitchen where there is a coffee machine. I pour myself a cup of coffee and add some sugar and milk. Then, I join my co-workers in the break area. We sit around a table and chat while enjoying our coffee. Sometimes, we share funny stories or discuss the latest news. It's a nice way to relax and socialize with my colleagues. After about 15 minutes, we all head back to our desks and continue with our work. This coffee break helps me recharge and stay focused for the rest of the day. After work, I went to the gym for my workout session. I started by doing some cardio exercises like running on the treadmill and cycling on the stationary bike. It helped me warm up my body and get my heart rate up. Then, I moved on to lifting weights to work on my strength and muscles. I did exercises like squats, bench press, and bicep curls. After each set, I took short breaks to catch my breath and rest my muscles. I repeated this routine for about an hour, focusing on different muscle groups. Finally, I cooled down by stretching my muscles and doing some light exercises. I felt tired but satisfied with my gym session, knowing that I had worked hard and taken care of my health and fitness. After a long day at work, I decided to prepare dinner at home. I wanted something delicious and healthy, so I decided to make grilled chicken, roasted vegetables, and a side salad. I started by marinating the chicken with a mixture of olive oil, garlic, and herbs. While the chicken was marinating, I preheated the grill and chopped up some fresh vegetables, bell peppers, zucchini, and onions. I tossed the vegetables with olive oil, salt, and pepper, then spread them out on a baking sheet. Once the grill was hot, I cooked the chicken until it was nicely browned and cooked through. At the same time, I put the vegetables in the oven and roasted them until they were tender and slightly charred. While everything was cooking, I washed and chopped some lettuce for the side salad. Once the chicken and vegetables were done, I plated them alongside the salad. The grilled chicken was juicy and flavorful and the roasted vegetables had a nice smoky taste. The side salad added a refreshing crunch to the meal. Overall, it was a wholesome and satisfying dinner that I was proud to have prepared myself. Every evening after dinner, I like to take a slow walk around the area where I live. It's a pleasant routine that I have been following for a while now. As soon as the dishes are done, I put on my comfortable walking shoes and step outside. 
The weather in the evening is usually nice, not too hot and not too cold. I walk along the familiar streets of my neighborhood, taking in the sights and sounds around me. The houses are all lit up, and sometimes I see families sitting outside or playing in their yards. I also notice other people out for walks, jogging, or walking their dogs. There is a sense of peace and tranquility in the air. I enjoy the quietness of the evening, where everything seems to slow down. As I walk, I can hear the sound of leaves rustling, birds chirping, and occasional cars passing by. It's a time for reflection and relaxation. I often use this time to clear my mind and let go of the stress from the day. The evening walk has become a cherished part of my daily routine. It allows me to unwind and appreciate the simple beauty of my neighborhood. In my daily routine, I make sure to dedicate some time to my favorite hobby, painting. It's a way for me to express my creativity and relax. I usually set up my painting supplies in a quiet corner of my house, where I can have some peace and focus. I start by selecting a blank canvas and choose the colors I want to use. Sometimes I paint landscapes or abstract paintings, depending on my mood. I dip my brush into the paint and start applying it to the canvas, letting my imagination guide me. I love seeing the colors blend together and the patterns taking shape. As I continue painting, I lose track of time and enter a state of deep concentration. Once I'm satisfied with my creation, I let it dry and admire the final result. Painting is truly a fulfilling hobby for me, allowing me to express myself in a unique way. Every night before going to bed, I have a routine of reading a few pages of a book. This helps me relax and unwind after a long day. I find that reading helps to clear my mind and get ready for sleep. The book I read can vary, depending on my mood and interests at the time. Sometimes I choose a novel, while other times I prefer non-fiction or self-help books. Regardless of the genre, reading always helps me to feel calm and ready for a good night's sleep. After reading for about 15 minutes, I put the book aside and turn off the lights. I then close my eyes and let myself drift off to sleep feeling content and peaceful. Reading before bed has become an essential part of my daily routine, allowing me to end the day on a positive note. On weekends, I usually go grocery shopping at the supermarket. Before heading out, I make a list of all the items I need for the upcoming week. Once I arrive at the supermarket, I grab a shopping cart and start my search for the items on my list. I carefully check the shelves and compare different brands and prices before making my selections. I make sure to choose fresh fruits and vegetables, along with other essential items like bread, milk, and eggs. As I go through the aisles, I pick up the items one by one and place them in my cart. 
Once I have everything I need, I head to the checkout counter. The cashier scans each item and I pay for my groceries. After paying, I pack my groceries into bags and load them into my car. I then drive back home feeling satisfied that I have successfully completed my weekend grocery shopping. On a sunny day, I decided to spend the day at the beach. I packed my towel, sunscreen, and swimsuit into my beach bag. I arrived at the beach and found a nice spot in the sand to lay out my towel. The sun was shining brightly overhead as I applied sunscreen all over my body to protect my skin from getting burned. I couldn't wait to go for a swim in the ocean, so I made my way towards the water. The waves were gentle and inviting, so I waded in until the water reached my knees. As I continued walking, the water gradually got deeper until I was able to start swimming. It felt refreshing and cool against my skin as I glided through the water. I spent hours swimming and playing in the ocean, feeling the salt water on my lips and the sand beneath my feet. Whenever I felt tired, I would take a break and lie down on my towel, listening to the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. The salty breeze brushed against my face, making me feel relaxed and at peace. As the sun started to set, I gathered my belongings and reluctantly left the beach. It had been a perfect day spent soaking up the sun and enjoying the beauty of the ocean. On a recent weekend, I had the opportunity to plan a getaway to a nearby city. I was excited to explore new places and try local food. I packed my bags and headed off on my adventure. As soon as I arrived, I started exploring the city. I visited famous landmarks and took lots of pictures. The city had a vibrant and lively atmosphere that I really enjoyed. I also tried some of the local cuisine, which was absolutely delicious. I indulged in street food and tried different dishes at local restaurants. The flavors were unique and I couldn't resist going back for more. During my weekend getaway, I created wonderful memories as I wandered around the city, discovering hidden gems and immersing myself in the local culture. It was a refreshing change from my usual routine and I couldn't have asked for a better weekend. I recently attended a family gathering to celebrate a special occasion. The atmosphere was warm and welcoming as everyone gathered in one place. We all shared laughter and joyous moments together. The delicious scent of homemade dishes filled the air, and the dining table was beautifully set. As we sat down to eat, we enjoyed a variety of mouth-watering dishes prepared by different family members. The food tasted amazing, and we complimented each other's culinary skills. Throughout the gathering, we shared stories, memories, and laughed together. It was a special occasion that brought the whole family together creating unforgettable moments that we will cherish for years to come.
I take my car to the mechanic once every few months for regular maintenance. They check the oil levels and change the oil if necessary. They also replace any old or dirty filters to ensure that the air and fuel flowing into the engine are clean. They carefully inspect the tires for any signs of wear and tear and adjust the pressure if needed. The mechanic also checks the brake pads and fluid levels to keep them in good condition. They make sure that all the lights on the car are working properly. If there are any issues or potential problems, they fix them immediately to prevent further damage. After the maintenance is done, I feel relieved knowing that my car is in top shape and ready for any journey. In the afternoon, I spent some time gardening in my backyard. I carefully planted colorful flowers in the soil, making sure to give them enough space to grow. After that, I grabbed my pruning shears and started trimming the bushes, making them look neat and tidy. As I worked, I couldn't help but admire the beauty of nature surrounding me. The vibrant colors of the flowers and the fresh green leaves of the bushes brought a sense of peace and tranquility to my backyard. It was a fulfilling experience to connect with nature and create a beautiful outdoor space. On a typical day, I prioritize cleaning my home. First, I gather all the necessary cleaning supplies and put on my gloves. I start by dusting the furniture in each room making sure to reach all the nooks and crannies. Next, I grab the vacuum cleaner and thoroughly clean the floors, removing any dirt or debris. After that, I tackle the task of organizing my belongings. I go through each room, sorting items into different categories and finding designated places for everything. By the end of the day, my home feels fresh and organized, creating a peaceful and tidy environment. Today, I decided to try a new baking recipe and make a batch of cookies. I gathered all the ingredients and started following the instructions carefully. I preheated the oven and mixed the flour, sugar, butter, and eggs together in a bowl. Then, I added chocolate chips for an extra touch of sweetness. The dough was sticky, but I managed to shape it into small balls and placed them onto a baking sheet. As I put the tray into the oven, a wonderful aroma started to fill the house. I waited patiently as the cookies baked, and finally, they were done. They turned out to be absolutely delicious, with a perfect golden brown color. I couldn't resist taking a bite and savoring the softness and sweetness of the cookies. I felt proud of myself for successfully trying a new recipe and creating such tasty treats. I recently enrolled in a cooking class to learn new recipes and culinary techniques. The class provided a hands-on experience, which I found enjoyable. Throughout the class, I learned various cooking methods such as sautéing, baking, and grilling. 
The instructor demonstrated each technique step by step and then gave us the opportunity to practice on our own. I also learned how to prepare different types of cuisines, including Asian, Italian, and Mexican. The class emphasized the importance of using fresh ingredients and proper seasoning to enhance the flavors of the dishes. Overall, the cooking class was a great way to expand my cooking knowledge and improve my skills in the kitchen. I wake up early in the morning feeling excited about my photography expedition. I grab my camera and all my gear before heading out. As I walk through the streets, I notice the golden rays of sunlight shining through the trees. I quickly snap a few photos of the beautiful morning light. I continue my journey towards a nearby park, where I encounter a serene lake surrounded by colorful flowers. I capture the reflection of the trees in the calm water, creating a stunning image. As I venture further, I stumble upon a hidden alleyway filled with vibrant street art. I take my time to capture the intricate details and vibrant colors. Moving on, I reach a hilltop with a breathtaking view of the city skyline. A flock of birds fly across the sky, providing a perfect moment to capture their graceful flight. Finally, as the sun starts to set, I find myself at the beach. The golden hour casts a warm glow on the sand and water, creating a magical atmosphere. I capture the waves crashing against the shore and silhouettes of people enjoying the evening. Exhausted, but thrilled with my day's work. I head home to review my shots and relive the incredible experiences from my photography expedition. Every day, I take my pet for a walk in the park. They are so excited when I grab their leash and we head out the door. We walk along the sidewalk until we reach the park entrance. Once inside, my pet immediately starts sniffing and exploring the surroundings. They love being in nature and having the chance to run around freely. As we walk, I enjoy the fresh air and the beautiful scenery around us. It's also a great opportunity for both of us to get some exercise. We walk for about 30 minutes before heading back home. My pet is always tired but happy after our walk, and I feel refreshed and energized as well. Taking my pet for a walk in the park has become a daily routine that we both look forward to. Yesterday I decided to visit a local market in my neighborhood. It was a vibrant and bustling place with many sellers offering a variety of products. As I walked around, I noticed stalls selling fresh produce such as fruits, vegetables, and herbs. The colors and smells were delightful. I couldn't resist buying some juicy strawberries and crispy lettuce for my salad tonight. Apart from the food stalls, there were also vendors selling unique crafts and handmade items. I was particularly drawn to a stall selling beautiful ceramic pots.
They were so intricately designed and I ended up buying one to decorate my living room. I was happy to support local businesses and artisans. Overall, my visit to the local market was a pleasant experience. I enjoyed exploring the different products, interacting with the sellers, and making some purchases. I decided to try a new restaurant in town. It was recommended to me by a friend who said they have delicious food. When I arrived, I was greeted by a friendly host who showed me to my table. I looked at the menu and saw that they had a variety of dishes to choose from. I decided to try their specialty dish, which was a pasta dish with a creamy sauce. When the food arrived, it looked amazing. I took my first bite and immediately felt the flavors explode in my mouth. The dish was creamy and flavorful, just as my friend had described. I continued to eat and savor every bite. The restaurant had a cozy atmosphere and the staff were attentive and helpful. Overall, it was a wonderful culinary experience and I would definitely recommend this restaurant to others. Yesterday, I decided to go hiking on a new trail. I arrived at the trailhead early in the morning and started my adventure. The trail was surrounded by lush green trees and colorful wildflowers. As I walked, I could hear the peaceful sound of birds chirping. The air was crisp and refreshing, and I took deep breaths, feeling invigorated. Along the way, I came across a beautiful waterfall cascading down the rocks. The sight was breathtaking, and I couldn't help but pause to admire its beauty. Continuing my hike, I reached a lookout point with panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and valleys. It was a sight to behold. I sat down on a nearby bench, soaked in the beauty of nature, and felt a sense of calm and tranquility. After spending a few hours exploring the trail, I made my way back to the trailhead, satisfied and grateful for the experience. Last weekend, I decided to participate in a neighborhood garage sale. I had a lot of unused items in my house and thought it would be a great way to declutter and make some extra money. I woke up early in the morning and gathered all the items I wanted to sell. I set up a table in my front yard and displayed everything neatly. There were clothes, books, toys, and even some small furniture pieces. As soon as I was ready, people started coming to my house. Some were just browsing, while others were interested in specific items. I greeted everyone with a smile and answered their questions about the items. Throughout the day, I sold many things and even negotiated prices with some customers. It was exciting to see people finding joy in the items I no longer needed. By the end of the day, most of my items were sold, and I made some extra money. It felt great to declutter my house and knowing that the items I sold would be put to good use by someone else.
Yesterday, I went to an art exhibition that showcased the works of local artists. The venue was a large gallery filled with various types of artwork. As I walked through the exhibition, I was amazed by the creativity and talent displayed in each piece. There were vibrant paintings, intricate sculptures, and even experimental installations. I spent several hours exploring the different exhibits, taking my time to appreciate each artwork. It was fascinating to see how each artist had their unique style and interpretation of the world. Some pieces evoked strong emotions in me, while others made me stop and ponder. I was particularly drawn to a series of abstract paintings that played with colors and shapes. The vibrant hues and bold brush strokes captured my attention and left me intrigued. Overall, the art exhibition was a wonderful experience that allowed me to immerse myself in the world of art and appreciate the incredible skills of local artists. I woke up early in the morning feeling excited about the biking adventure that I had planned with my friends. After having a quick breakfast, I gathered all my necessary gear including my helmet, knee pads, and water bottle. I met my friends at the designated meeting point and we started our journey. As we rode along the scenic trails, we couldn't help but admire the beautiful nature surrounding us. The fresh air and the sound of birds chirping made the experience even more enjoyable. We rode at a steady pace, chatting and laughing together. We encountered some challenging uphill paths, but we encouraged and supported each other to keep going. Finally, we reached a breathtaking viewpoint where we stopped to rest and take some photos. The view was absolutely stunning and it felt amazing to have reached this point after all the hard work. After a short break, we descended down the hills, feeling the wind in our faces and the thrill of the ride. It was an exhilarating experience, filled with laughter and camaraderie. As the day came to an end, we returned back to the starting point, feeling tired but satisfied. We bid farewell to each other, promising to plan another biking adventure soon. Overall, it was a fantastic day spent exploring nature, experiencing the joy of riding, and creating lasting memories with my friends. Yesterday, I decided to try a new recipe for dinner. I found the recipe online and it looked delicious. First, I gathered all the ingredients listed in the recipe. Then, I followed the step-by-step -step instructions given in the recipe. I chopped the vegetables, measured the spices, and mixed the batter as instructed. I heated the pan and poured the batter onto it. I cooked the dish for the recommended time flipping it once to ensure it was evenly cooked. Finally, I plated the dish and served it for dinner. The new recipe turned out to be a success. The dish was flavorful and unique, and my family loved it. Trying a new recipe was a fun and satisfying experience.
Yesterday, my friend asked me for help with a project. I agreed to lend a helping hand because I knew she needed it. We decided to work on the project together so that we could support each other. We started by discussing our plan and dividing the tasks. I took the responsibility of gathering research materials while my friend began organizing our work schedule. Throughout the day, we worked side by side, sharing ideas and providing feedback. Whenever one of us faced difficulties, the other offered assistance and encouragement. We stayed focused and motivated, striving to complete the project to the best of our abilities. As the day went on, our bond strengthened and we became more efficient in our work. By the end of the day, we were proud of what we had accomplished together. Helping my friend not only gave me a sense of satisfaction but also strengthened our friendship. I attended a workshop on personal development. During the workshop, I learned valuable skills and techniques to enhance various areas of my life. The instructor provided practical tips on time management, goal setting, and effective communication. We also participated in interactive exercises to improve our self-awareness and self-confidence. The workshop was insightful and empowering, as I discovered new strategies to overcome challenges and achieve success. Overall, it was a worthwhile experience that equipped me with the necessary tools to lead a more fulfilling and accomplished life. One day, I decided to visit a relative who lives in another city. It had been a while since I last saw them, so I was excited to spend quality time together. I packed my bag and caught a bus to their city. Upon arriving, I took a taxi to their house. As soon as I arrived, we greeted each other warmly and exchanged hugs. We spent the entire day catching up on each other's lives and reminiscing about old memories. We laughed and shared stories, creating new memories together. We also went for a walk in their neighborhood and enjoyed the pleasant weather. In the evening, we cooked a delicious meal together and sat down to enjoy it. The day passed by quickly, and it was time for me to head back home. We said our goodbyes promising to stay in touch and plan another visit soon. I left their house with a heart filled with joy and cherished the moments spent with my relative. Every morning, I wake up feeling energized and ready for the day ahead. I put on my comfortable running shoes and head out for a jog in the park. As I start running, I feel the cool morning air brushing against my face. The park is filled with the soothing sounds of nature, birds chirping and leaves rustling in the wind. I pass by other joggers and walkers, feeling a sense of camaraderie with them. The rhythmic motion of each step helps me clear my mind and release any stress or worries. I continue running, feeling my muscles working and my heart pumping. Sweat starts to drip down my forehead, evidence of the effort I'm putting in. 
As I reach the halfway point of my run, I turn around and start heading back. The sun is now shining brightly, casting long shadows on the path. I pick up my pace, feeling a burst of energy as I near the finish line. Finally, I reach the end of my run, feeling a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. I catch my breath and take a moment to stretch my tired muscles. The whole experience has left me feeling refreshed and invigorated, ready to take on whatever the day may bring. Every evening, I make it a habit to sit down and write in my journal. I find this activity to be a great way to reflect on my day and express my thoughts and emotions. I grab a pen in my journal and find a comfortable spot in my home. As I start writing, I begin by recapping the events that occurred throughout the day. I write down the activities I did the places I visited, and the people I interacted with. After that, I delve deeper into my emotions and thoughts about the day. I express my joys, frustrations, and even any worries that may be on my mind. Writing in my journal allows me to release any built-up stress or tension and helps me gain a better understanding of my own feelings. It also serves as a personal record of my life, allowing me to look back and see how much I've grown or changed. The process of journaling typically takes me about 20 to 30 minutes, and once I'm done, I feel a sense of clarity and relief. It's a peaceful and calming activity that I look forward to every day. Today, I decided to try a new workout routine at the gym. I had heard great things about it, so I was excited to give it a go. When I arrived at the gym, I saw a sign for the new workout class and signed up right away. The class started with a warm-up, which consisted of stretching and light cardio exercises. Then, the instructor introduced us to a series of strength exercises using weights and resistance bands. As the class progressed, I could feel my muscles working harder than they ever had before. It was definitely challenging, but I persevered and pushed through. By the end of the class, I was exhausted but also proud of myself for completing the workout. I could already feel the benefits of the new routine, as my muscles felt tighter and stronger. Trying this new workout routine was definitely a great decision, as it pushed me physically and helped me build strength. I am excited to continue with this routine and see even more progress in the future. I recently went on a road trip with my friends and it was such an exciting experience. We packed our bags and got into the car early in the morning. We drove to various destinations and it was so much fun exploring new places. Along the way, we stopped at beautiful scenic spots and took lots of pictures. We also tried different types of food at local restaurants and it was delicious. We spent the nights at cozy motels and had a good night's sleep before continuing our journey the next day. 
We had some unforgettable adventures like hiking through a national park and swimming in a crystal clear lake. The road trip allowed us to bond and create lasting memories together. It was a thrilling adventure that I will never forget. I recently decided to join a language exchange program to practice speaking a new language with native speakers. I believe it's a great way to improve my language skills. Yesterday, I attended my first language exchange session. The program was held in a community center near my house. When I arrived, there were already a few people waiting. I introduced myself to the group and started chatting with a native speaker who was learning my native language. We took turns speaking in each other's languages, correcting each other's mistakes and helping each other improve. There were also language activities and games that we participated in. The atmosphere was friendly and relaxed, which made it easier for me to practice speaking without feeling embarrassed or nervous. After an hour and a half of speaking practice, the session came to an end. I thanked everyone for their help and made plans to attend the next session. Overall, it was a productive and enjoyable experience, and I'm looking forward to continuing with the language exchange program to further improve my language skills. Yesterday, I visited a botanical garden. It was a beautiful place with various types of flowers and plants. The garden was well maintained, and the floral displays were stunning. I started my visit by taking a leisurely walk along the garden paths. Everywhere I looked, there were vibrant colors and pleasant fragrances. The flowers were in full bloom, showcasing their natural beauty. As I walked, I noticed different kinds of flowers, such as roses, lilies, and orchids. Each flower had its unique shape and color, making the garden even more captivating. I took my time to appreciate the intricate details of each flower. The garden was also home to different varieties of trees, providing shade in some areas and creating a peaceful atmosphere. I enjoyed the soothing sound of birds chirping and the gentle rustling of leaves. I even saw a few butterflies fluttering around, adding to the charm of the garden. I spent hours exploring the various sections of the garden, taking in the sights and taking pictures of the breathtaking landscapes. It was a refreshing experience to be surrounded by nature's wonders and to appreciate the beauty of flowers and plants. Yesterday, I decided to start a DIY project at home. I wanted to repaint a room and unleash my creativity. I gathered all the necessary tools and materials, such as brushes, rollers, and paint cans. I cleared the room of furniture and covered the floors with plastic sheets to protect them from paint splatters. I started by cleaning the walls and filling any cracks or holes with putty. Once the walls were prepped, I began painting, starting from the top and working my way down. The color I chose was a calming blue. 
It took me several hours to complete the painting and I made sure to apply two coats for a smooth finish. As I painted, I felt a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction with my progress. Once the paint dried, I removed the plastic sheets and placed the furniture back in the room. The newly painted room looked fresh and inviting. I was proud of my DIY project and the transformation it brought to my home. I decided to try a new hairstyle to give myself a fresh look. I wanted to experiment with something different and see how it would make me feel. I looked up different hairstyles online for inspiration and found one that I really liked. I followed the step-by-step -step instructions and tried to recreate the hairstyle. It took some time and effort, but I was determined to get it right. Once I finished, I looked in the mirror and was pleasantly surprised with the results. The new hairstyle suited me well and added a touch of change to my appearance. It made me feel more confident and gave me a boost of self-esteem. I was glad I took the chance to try something new and I am now excited to show off my fresh look to my friends and family. Every morning I wake up early and head to the pool for a swim. I put on my swimsuit, grab my towel, and walk to the pool. When I arrive, I find a spot by the side of the pool and set my towel down. I slowly ease myself into the cool water and start swimming. The water feels refreshing on my skin and I enjoy the sensation of gliding through the water. I swim back and forth, using different strokes to challenge myself. I feel my muscles working and my heart rate increasing. After swimming for a while, I start to feel relaxed and at peace. It's a great way to start my day and it helps me stay fit. Eventually, I decide it's time to get out of the pool. I dry myself off with my towel and get dressed. I feel refreshed and energized, ready to take on the day ahead. Swimming is definitely a great way to relax and stay fit. Today, I went for a photography walk around the city. I brought my camera and went to different places to capture interesting scenes and moments. I started my walk early in the morning when the sun was rising. I first went to the park and took pictures of the beautiful flowers and trees. Then, I walked towards the busy streets and captured the hustle and bustle of city life. I saw people rushing to work and cars honking their horns. It was quite exciting to capture these moments. After that, I went to the waterfront and took pictures of the serene river and the boats sailing on it. The reflections on the water looked amazing in the pictures. I also found a colorful graffiti wall and took some artistic shots there. It was so much fun experimenting with different angles and perspectives. Time passed quickly, and before I knew it, it was already evening. I was tired but satisfied with the pictures I had taken. 
Going for a photography walk was a great way to explore the city and unleash my creativity. Today, I decided to plant a garden in my backyard. First, I grabbed a shovel and started digging up the soil. It was hard work, but I was determined to create a beautiful garden. After clearing the area and making it ready for planting, I took out the seeds that I had bought earlier. I carefully sowed the seeds, making sure to space them out properly. Once that was done, I watered the soil gently to provide moisture for the seeds to germinate. I knew that watering was crucial for the plants to grow, so I made sure to do it regularly. Over the next few weeks, I continued to take care of the garden by watering it and removing any weeds that sprouted up. It was exciting to see little seedlings emerge from the soil and grow into healthy plants. I felt proud of myself for creating something so beautiful and rewarding. In the evening, after a long day of work, I decide to relax with a cup of tea. I boil some water and choose my favorite flavor of tea. As I wait for the water to heat up, I find a cozy spot on the couch and sit back. The steam from the boiling water rises, and I can already smell the soothing aroma of the tea. Once the water is ready, I pour it into my cup and watch as the tea bag infuses the water with its rich color. Taking a slow sip, I can feel the warmth of the tea spreading throughout my body. It feels comforting and relaxing. I close my eyes and enjoy the moment of tranquility. The taste of the tea is just as delightful as its fragrance. Each sip brings a sense of calmness and contentment. As I finish my cup of tea, I feel refreshed and rejuvenated. It was a simple but meaningful moment of relaxation in my daily routine.